Hello everyone, what's up? Don't mind the camera just not being quite in the right position. <laughs> it's interesting how with this game, whenever you try to stream it, it's always great fun when you actually start the stream and then boom it minimizes the whole game and then it's an absolute pain in the ass to get it open again because it doesn't like minimizing this game. Anyway, it's fine. We're here. We're here. So, I just want to say welcome to everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on PC again. You lot probably didn't think I was going to be streaming this anytime soon, did you? But, we're making a bit of an exception, because yesterday, I know it's not today, but yesterday was actually the 20th anniversary, basically, at this point, of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets for PC, as well as the film, I might add. I'm not certain about the other console ports, I don't think they were on the same day, but there's so many different dates for these games at this point that it's kind of difficult to keep up. But yeah, anyway, this game is now 20 years old, which is kind of incredible. It makes me feel very old, <laughs> and I'm sure it makes a lot of you feel old too. But this is awesome to actually come back and stream it again today, and you might remember earlier on this year that I did Fat Mode when I streamed this, so, or Chungus if you like. I'll go call it Fat Mode, easier to say. Anyway, yeah. We're going to do it again, but this time we're doing it with the correct value in it, so it's not quite like it was last time, but that's fine. We might see less glitches this time, just pointing that out. But anyway, this is fat mode we're going to do today. What I will do quick, because I know this game has its moments, and especially the plane part that is coming up soon. We, uh, we don't want that really loud. Anyway, I'm going to quickly catch up on the chat and then we'll dive on into this. Actually, you know what, screw it, I'll run this in the background as we've got cutscenes and uh, yeah, I'll read the chat. It's probably going to go so quick today that I won't be able to keep up with it all, but I'll do my best. Harry Potter lived Everything's fat, four, by the way, just so you know. <laughs> ...with his horrible uncle and aunt and their hateful son, Dudley. Harry was often locked in his room, and even though he was a wizard, he couldn't escape because he wasn't allowed to use magic when he was away from school. Yeah, advertising my own room, what's wrong with that, Has named Dobby <laughs> No, in all honesty, the camera just wasn't in the right spot. Oh, yeah, I forgot they looked weird inside Harry the mirror. Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts. Jesus. If Harry Potter goes back to Hogwarts, <laughs> he will be in mortal danger. <laughs> This is going to be quite a ride. <laughs> Dobby disappeared, and shortly after, Harry's best friend, Ron Weasley, and his brother... There he is, friend, Hagrid, George, just casually in hiding in the corner. Anglia ...to rescue Harry from his prison. It's interesting that Hagrid doesn't get fat. ...to their home, the burrow, <laughs> where Harry spent the rest That's of the weird. summer before travelling by flu powder to Diagon Alley. Uh, but I want to say welcome to everyone that joined the chat. Sorry, I haven't managed to keep up with everyone. <laughs> Harry met up with Ron's sister, Jill, there it is, the earthquake. Where the famous wizard well, we got a load of new Gilroy people in the chat today. So first of all, I'll say hi to Haz, hi to Baldwin, hi to John, hi Great to Scott, Vic <coughs> Victor, Surely not. hi to Sp it is. It right. it's Harry Potter. Spiri? I hope I got that right. Anyway, Ladies hello. You are new. Nice this to see you. We'll say Woodlin. Welcome to Woodlin. I have great pleasure in announcing oh, that blimey. You're really blowing off. And of course, Rob is here as well. Or Roboto, as I should call him. It's ah. nice to see everyone here. Alexis, too. How are you doing? Oh, loads of new people popping in right now. It's Did nice to see you all. Potter. Welcome, guys. Welcome, Famous welcome. Harry Potter. <laughs> Jesus Can't Christ. Even go into a bookshop without making the front he looks page. like a demented duck. Leave him alone. <laughs> he doesn't want all that. that. looks like a Potter, rough badger. You've got yourself a girlfriend. I suppose your parents will go hungry that for does not a month look right. to pay for all the books you're oh, going to God. need at Hogwarts. That looks so it's wrong. It's the least I can so do to help out the poor and needy. Jesus Christ. Oh, he's normal. It was the normal student there. I wasn't expecting that. It's just a casual normal dude walking past like, what am I in? This hell hole of a world. Oh, there's normal Ron. It's alright. We'll change that. Oh, God. Oh, no. What are we going to do? Well, I know that Dad took the flying car to work this morning. It's parked in Charing Cross Road. 
Okay, it's our only chance of getting to school on time. I just want to say, by the way, for the record, I've been playing the Deathly Hallows Part 1 and recording that recently, so to actually come and play this right now is so nice. <laughs> so, so nice. Now all we've got to worry about are airplanes. I can't see anything. How loud is this going to be? Very loud. Very loud. Ow. <laughs> Sorry for the ear there. deafness that you probably just uh -oh. experienced. I think the car's cutting out. Come on, car. Come on. Why did they have to make the plane so loud? I get it, it's like a jump scare, Stop. but come on, Stop. man. Stop. It hurts the ears. Think about the uh, headphone users. No wonder. You know you want to. I also want to say thank you to No Wonder for actually creating such an epic game here. You guys nailed it with this game, you really did. Ron, where are Everyone you? will remember this game, like, forever oh, more, here, I think. The Willow's got it's me. the definitive Harry Potter game, this right here, it really is. Don't worry, Ron, I'll come and get you. Just hold on. I can't do anything else. Hurry up, Harry. Right. <laughs> I love the cloak going through Harry's arse, just casually. Because it doesn't work properly. Oh my god, his, his foot actually makes it look like his whole leg. <laughs> look at it. That's great. Oh, this is going to be an experience. To cast a spell, press and hold the left mouse button. How can Ron and Harry fit in the car? Good question. I'm not sure, actually. Oh my Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hang on a minute. What? That is unfortunate, man. <laughs> it's horrifying. That's great. It's all about the mouth, man. Look at that mouth. Look at the state of it. <laughs> oh, you can already see the spell effect behind it. I love that. Don't even need to cast at it when I could just do this. <laughs> anyway. Oh my god, now that is literally the Order of the Phoenix book this right there. There it is, the Order of the Phoenix. To save the current state of it was game. predicted early the on in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets for PC. Revert to the point uh, where and when you last uh, touched a save book. Alright, I guess we'll be pushing enter. What? How have we managed to soft lock this already? How is that even possible? What did we do that made that happen? Potentially. I wonder if I could recover this without F4. Is it possible? Hmm. Debatable. Probably not. Why would we do that? Literally, I have no idea what I supposedly just did to make that actually happen, but okay, fine. We're for it. It's not like I have a choice. Uh, the beauty of 4K when you can only just barely read this. <laughs> Hang on a moment. Willow, there it is. There we go. Alright, there we are. <laughs> Alright, we'll just do that casually again. It should be fine. <laughs> Don't even ask how I just soft locked the game there. I'd have not got a clue. Maybe it's because of me bouncing up and down all the time in fat mode in front of the gargoyle, did it? Might have done. To cast a spell, press and hold the left mouse button. Maybe it's like a clown car. Maybe, Alexis. Maybe. Maybe. Right. Let's not jump in front of the gargoyle this time, just to be on the safe side. Anyway, I still maintain my point. That is the order of the phoenix. To save the current state of your game, when you faint, your game will automatically revert to the point where and when you last touched a save. You wonder how much of a struggle it's going to be when it gets to 8K. At that point, we won't even be able to read it, creative. Literally, it will be unreadable. <laughs> it's at that point where you either get someone to create a mod of some kind that makes the text bigger, which is being done I believe, by the way. Or, you, um... Yeah, you just play it on a lower resolution. <laughs> but in all honesty, at this point, 8K really is just so unnecessary. <laughs> oh, well, look at that. Both at the same time, this might curse me. Is that gonna curse me? Oh, it didn't. Oh, yeah, get in there. 
Just make the frog fat quick. Yeah, boy. Anyway, um... Yeah, I mean, at the moment, I'm going to say that you really don't need 8K in gaming, because, I mean, gaming is not at all designed for 8K yet. It just isn't. <laughs> oh, yeah, the one big willow's got door bits on it already. It's got the chest in it. Why? I thought we were actually going to get away from some of that today with the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> with the different number rather than 500 but I was wrong I was completely wrong the stuff is still teleporting so uh, yep looks like the challenges are gonna be entertaining much appreciated brilliant <laughs> nice foreshadowing of what's to come yeah literally it is you're right Victor you're right oh dear <laughs> It looks so I'm weird with bits of the door in it. This flying car. Anyway, we better get a move on. We don't want Professor Snape catching us out so late. Ah, oh, the door's gone. Yep, okay. <laughs> this is a foreshadowing of what is to come. Everything throughout this playthrough today when we're live streaming is going to teleport to random places like that. Expect it to happen. It will happen. Revealed magically hidden things. What? Well, those have teleported as well. <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay. Oh no! <laughs> we got the seven we where it sometimes makes the uh, invisible platforms literally invisible. <laughs> it's alright, that's why we got debug on. <laughs> Run to the ledge and press the right mouse button. Thank Christ we have, I might have had. Try collecting the beans on all the ledges, Harry. Honestly, if we didn't have debug mode on. We'd be screwed. <laughs> Every flavour beats. Oh, <laughs> as many as I can. They'll come in handy later. Oh, by the way, um, just to say to everyone, if you haven't seen the recent interviews that um, were done with the speed running point of view for the HP2 devs, two of them, one who was a cutscene director and one who's the, I, I believe he was the creative director, I can't remember now. But anyway, if you haven't seen those two interviews, then go, <laughs> brilliant, go and watch them. You really should. Because they actually are super awesome and worthwhile to watch. I actually learned quite a lot from them as well. I'm obviously not a speedrunner, so for me, whenever I see speedrunners in the community doing things, it's always quite incredible. You're right, they're on. <laughs> so, yeah, it's always amazing to see speedrunners doing stuff. So, actually, for me to like watch those massive video live streams, they were originally live streams, it's super awesome just to actually see some of this stuff in action. Because some of it I didn't even know about. I knew some of it, of course, but not all of it. And of course you get it from a dev's perspective as well, where they can actually explain some of these things a little bit more. So we can actually understand why some of it is happening. Which is really cool. This is I always love that. Wizard car. There are 50 of these scattered throughout Hogwarts. Each time I'm not sure how Jeff would feel about his wizard card art becoming fat all of a sudden. <laughs> well, if he ever sees this, he will have the chance to see the fat was a gut. Collected thus far. <laughs> oh dear. I don't know how Jeff would feel about that. <laughs> oh well, well, to be honest, he'd probably just have a good laugh from it. <laughs> I think all the devs will have a good laugh from the fat mode. I'm really curious to know after watching those uh, videos whether or not we will ever find the Doom mode that they supposedly made for this game. Or I believe it was this game anyway. That'd be super cool. I'd love to see the Doom mode. I don't know if he meant the first person mode. Because if he meant that, then we obviously know how to put that on and we can do that. Um, I could even do that right now because I've got the shortcut for it. But I don't know if he meant that or not. I, I feel like he meant something else where like all the students become demons. <laughs> we have to kill them all. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, we'll see. Uh... <laughs> Most games are struggling at 4K. 
Uh, I wouldn't really say that. Maybe new games have their problems, yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly, old games not as much, which is weird to say. It's really weird to say that old games struggle less than new ones. Can I get on his head? Ah. Oh. The rain has stopped. That's right. At least we'll be dry when we get expelled. Come on, we'd better get up to the school. <laughs> Wide Harry walkie, no rumbling around. He's gonna rumble, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. It was kind of weird for me because originally some of my uh, admin team will know this. Um, I was actually going to stream another part of Knights of the Old Republic 2 originally today, but of course. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> because that changed as we have got Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, you know, hitting 20 years old. I mean, I couldn't really miss that occasion. It just wasn't possible. I, like, looked at my. St stream schedule and went, nah, we, we, oh my god, the hell, <laughs> we got to change this, that's brilliant, so yeah, I did, it was worthwhile changing it out, because you know, everyone loves HP2, when it gets to a 20 year time period, you can't really just ignore that, I mean, maybe some people can, but I can't, you know, this is literally my childhood. I grew up with this thing. <laughs> it's a big deal to me. It's also something that, you know, has done really well for me on YouTube in general. So, of course I'm coming back to it. It's something I love to come back to. I love this game. At this point, there are people out there I know who don't like this game, but there's something wrong with them. You can't possibly not like this game. It's just not possible. Unless you have no soul and you play battle royales every day, maybe. But uh, otherwise, no. <laughs> I don't believe it. Anyway, we're uh, not going to play this completely seriously, by the way. We're just pissing about with fat mode. So yeah, we're going to do some weird things, like uh, getting secrets early. <laughs> Earlier than we should, because luckily with fat mode, when you jump up and down, you don't need to learn all the spells, which is nice. Yeah, it is really nice. I agree, Roberto. It's super nice to see everyone that comes by and celebrates this game. And I mean, yesterday when I put out my YouTube uh, community tab page about it, and also, okay, and also um, talked about, you know, like the other things on Discord and Twitter as well. I was amazed at the amount of people that came by to look at those posts, and it was really nice. It was encouraging for me to hear. I think we might... Actually, no, it doesn't matter. We'll come back for it another time. But yeah, it was nice. You know, it always feels good to see such an old game that is actually quite hard to play by today's standards. Loved by so many still, and everyone just wants to see it again. So it's always nice. But yeah, it, it surprised me, to be honest, seeing how many people were interacting with those. I was amazed. I really was. I didn't expect that. Not by any means. Ah. Came out when you were seven. Well, there you go. Feeling old yet? <laughs> I'm sure you probably are. <laughs> it's madness how this game came out so long ago. Oh dear. Oh, the door's gone. Where's the door? Is it? Hang on. It's the door over here. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> Literally, the statue is now holding. The dragon statue is officially holding on to the front door. Brilliant. Anyway, <laughs> worth it. Gryffindor dormitory is just over here to the right, remember? I'm going to try and keep an eye on the chat as much as possible during this because I want to actually read what people say today because, you know, this is a celebration of the game, right? And this is the anniversary, 20th anniversary of this game, so it would be nice to see what everyone is actually saying in the chat and things and... Yeah, 
I mean, this is a good chance for everyone to actually, you know, talk about their memories with this game today. Do it, you know. You never know, you might even get featured in a potential video if you're lucky. <laughs> oh, speaking of videos, I probably should say this. The Harry Potter rating video that I'm doing is pretty much there. It's currently on hold until I finish off doing the recordings for the two Deathly Hallows games, as I need the footage for that uh, video from those games. What did he just say? I have no idea what he just said. I missed that. But anyway. Um, yeah, so once those two series are done, and they're getting there, they're a bit slow because I find it really boring to play those games, so I can't really sit there and physically bring myself to play them all in one go. <laughs> I get very bored with it. It's also taking a while to actually edit them and so on because of doing a lot more editing than usual for them as a series to make them better. Well, obviously, I can't make the games any better, but you know, to make the actual series itself decent to watch, if you like. Um, but yeah, it's taking a while as a result, but don't worry, once that's out of the way, I can then get the footage that's needed for those two games for that review, and then that review is done and ready to go, and then I can put it out. So, hopefully it will come out soon enough. We'll at least get it before the end of the year, let's put it that way. <laughs> And yeah, lucky you lot, you just got Goblet of Fire 4K series for GBA, you're now going to get Definitely Had Those Part 1 4K series, lucky you! Two of the most awful games of the series, back to back. Oh man, it can't get much better than that. <laughs> this door is locked. I do question why I put myself through all of these sort of things sometimes for you lot, <laughs> I do question it. But then I look back and realise... It would be mad not to cover the entire HP series. Because I pretty much have it all on the channel. I mean, the actual playlist that I've got, like the full on playlist, the full 4K playlist for all the Harry Potter games so far, it's like got 200 and something videos in it. <laughs> and they're all from different Harry Potter games. It's ridiculous. But I mean, the only things that need to be added to it now are, of course, Definitely Alice Part 1, which is being added at the moment as we speak and play this. Definitely Alice Part 2. Um, and an updated version of PS1 Chamber of Secrets out of the mainline series. That's it. And by the way, we're in the dungeons and stuff way earlier than we should be. <laughs> Just pointing that out. In case this is your first time ever seeing this game and you're wondering how the hell I'm here. When you were a kid, you were obsessed with trying to open the Gryffindor common room door that's in this game. I was curious to know what was behind it, but now I do. Indeed! Well, now you could open it without needing debug mode, of course, as well. Um, for people that are interested by that, by the way, I think I've linked it down in the description of the stream. If I'm not, uh, if I haven't even, then I will do so uh, when the stream is over. But yeah. I made a guide on how to activate the secret cut level in the Gryffindor common room basically without needing debug mode so you can just type in a bit of, if you like, code I guess I'll call it into the um, like notepad and that and then put it inside the system folder and then as a result when you come back into the game forevermore you can just walk up to the door and it'll open like any other door normally in the game. So yeah! You, uh, <laughs> you could do that, whatever you like. Is Boy, Harry, want a trade? Oh my god, he actually Hi, does trade. Do you consider a trade? Does this actually work? What do you have? I have flobberworm mucus. Press on I'm, I'm yes going to try button. this. I want to see if this works. I've never tried this before. No I want to see if I can actually make a... Oh, hello. <laughs> Debug menu casually. Eh, hang on a minute. Get off my screen. Thank you. There we go. Right. I want to see if we can make a potion. Right, no more. No one in Slytherin has one of these. They'll be so jealous. What? <laughs> you say that when there is someone who is right next to you who probably does have that. What do that. you have? I have Wigan tree bark, still moist with dew. The <laughs> HP2 PC online went. Oh man. Ooh. That would be the day. Oh, 
always glad to sell to you, Harry. <laughs> Are you? You're a slippery. You hate Gryffindors. <laughs> Let alone Harry, of all people. Right. Let's see if this works. Aww. Yeah. I should have known it would be too good to be true. Damn. <laughs> oh well. It would have been cool if it actually did work. I would be impressed. Like, really impressed. Boom. You're right there, beans. Hell yeah. Oh no. <laughs> My secret. That's my way to get to the secret. <laughs> ah. Where have they gone? <laughs> okay. I've no idea where they've teleported to. Not to worry. That's why we have debug mode. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, I can also, by the way, run around with a sword. I'll do it in a minute when we go up to the uh, Gryffindor common room. I'll use the sword. <laughs> also, by the way, welcome to the other people that popped into the stream recently. So, uh, Bubble, of course, Hayden. It's nice to see you all. It's really nice to see so many people come by to see Chamber Secrets on PC and to see it in fat mode of all things. <laughs> I thought it'd be a good way to celebrate the game's 20th, you know, anniversary, playing it while everyone's extremely overweight. <laughs> As the devs intended, you know. It was always intended to be played this way. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Harry Becky Bosch on his first day. <laughs> Snape deducts house points either way. Yeah, he probably would. He's like, Potter, you have just volunteered to show the class how this is done. Wait, you know how to do this? 50 points from Gryffindor. <laughs> Literally. He looks terrifying in mirrors, Harry. It's actually horrifying. <laughs> Literally like Ultra Slender Man. <laughs> I've got Discord finally, but I still hate Reddit. That's fair enough, Hayden. I think many people hate Reddit. Just because of how sour and toxic he is. Which it is. Oh yeah, I forgot she has two hats. <laughs> <laughs> Celebration! Bounce the beans everywhere! <laughs> Jesus. Now that is what we call a proper celebration right there. Raining beans. By the way, for people that don't know, if you want to join the Discord and become a part of the community and so on, which is growing, and we also have a very nice friendly community where people like to interact and communicate with one another. It's also a great way to keep up to date with what I'm doing as well, with YouTube, etc. Or if you just want to talk to me when I'm busy, well, not busy even, then, um, yeah, you know, it's your opportunity to do so, then feel free to join the Discord. It's pinned inside the chat, by the way. But don't feel like you have to, it's entirely your choice. And of course, if you want to talk to any of the mods and that, they're all here today. Well, some of them anyway. So we've got the newly appointed Discord moderator. So congratulations on her position. And I know that she'll go a long way in making the community feel welcomed and awesome all the time. Which of course is has we, or has as I like to call her. As well as many other names, but has all have to do. There's the Fat Sword of Godric Gryffindor. Actually, ooh, if I kill Ron, it'll break the cutscene, won't it? Yeah, I won't kill him. You're lucky, my friend. But I will do this. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Yeah, go on. Let's just destroy everything. But yeah, so you've got Haz here. You've also got John here as well, who everyone at this point knows. And Creative is around today as well. So yes, you've got a whole mixture of people. I wonder if Percy's in here yet. Is he in here? 
Nah. Wishful figure. I love the way I could just see a beam through the wall casually as you do. Uh, where is he? There he is. Hello. Uh, the dormitory is up here, Harry. Yeah, my sword is too. You're right there, Ron. <laughs> You're too fat to get up the stairs. Do, 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 do. Oh, also today, by the way, people that didn't know this, Roberto has um, showcased a little bit of a brand new mod that he is going to be bringing out for this game. It's in the Discord server. So if you want to check that out and see what he's done, then go and have a look. Oh, I was hoping you would keep it. There's the portrait of oh, well. the fat lady. <laughs> look the at the state of it. Go to bed. I thought you'd have the password. Why would I have <laughs> Look at the size of that sword. Why would I have Looks like one of those blow-up ones that you can fight with You're at like right. fates and so on, where you pump them up. There you are. Jesus Christ. Right on time. I heard an incredible story about you two getting expelled over a flying car. Looks like her nostrils oh, are actually opening and closing. What the password is. Looks wrong. <laughs> Looks so bad. wrong. It's good to see you again, Harry. Fat lives in the name. <laughs> it literally lives in the name. Oh, there, <laughs> there she goes. Brilliant entrance. Got the year off with a bang. Oh yeah, we did. I mean, I've literally just blown up you everything in the vault. Oh, you're right then, mate. System we set up. <laughs> it's based on Bertie Bot's every flavor beans. Fred, myself, and several of no our worries, Roberto. I'm more than happy to mention to it. Out Some of us will occasionally have an item to trade. <laughs> I think if people beans, forget that we'll I like to actually Where help and promote to people beans? that, you know, support they these games and do things. It's not hard to find Why wouldn't I? You, you know, they're helping the create some awesome content for a game that I love. And it's my childhood. Plus also, you, I'm sure. it's nice, like, with someone who actually has got an audience and can promote these things to promote them. So, yeah. I'm more than happy to promote Once this stuff. inside the common room, of course Harry I. was greeted by the cheers of his fellow Gryffindor. Plus it gets people Harry interested to see what's coming on. Gryffindor also today we might take a look at uh, some mob Willow. maps that I've got Harry installed on this, well which are all Doozy's maps. Um, Doozy is also, by the way, inside the Discord server and that. So we might take a look at his mob maps today too. Good morning, Harry. It's time for our Defense Against the Dark Arts lesson with Professor Lockhart. Where are I their eyes? I just love his books. He's such a brilliant <laughs> They writer. don't have eyes. Defense Against the Dark Arts on the third floor. Follow us. Uh, also, just for everyone's info today, I do have the Discord open. It's just I won't be checking it too often because, of course, I'm going to keep an eye on the chat as much as I can today while also playing the game. So, um, yeah, <laughs> so the mods, the moderators will keep an eye on the Discord today and anyone that's new that joins wow. the server, Harry Potter. That, do you Can mind? Have your autograph? No. <laughs> anyway, anyone new that joins the server will be given a position, so they'll have like a role basically inside the server. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> If you join the server today and you're awaiting a roll and you need something to happen, then just write in the chat today in the stream that, you know, you've joined the server and that you need a roll. And either Creative or Has will give you that roll, which will be the Joker Crew roll more than likely. So, yeah. Don't worry, they'll keep an eye out. But if you're sitting in there and you can't do anything because you need a roll, then, like I said, let everyone know in the general chat today in the stream. And I promise you, we will do our best to get straight to you as quickly as possible. Oh boy, <laughs> there he is. Welcome back for the new school year, Harry. I'm still <laughs> gamekeeper here, thank goodness. He looks like a ridiculously happy teddy bear. <laughs> Look at it. Jesus Christ, that is fantastic. I mean... <laughs> It's like Borat, but just a teddy bear version that's extremely happy and way too happy for his own good. <laughs> it's fabulous. Please, someone take a picture of that. In fact, no, with Harry in the background. There we go. Take, take a picture of Harry with that and put that out in the wild. Just put it up on Twitter in like at Elon Musk or something and be like, Elon, what's going on with Twitter? <laughs> See if he responds. <laughs> Oh god, that is certainly something. Folks certainly have peculiar names for vegetables. <laughs> Do they? 
<laughs> he looks great. Well, some would think pigs are smelly. Imagine how that makes the pigs fail. Probably great. Hi, Harry. Care for a spot of tea? No. No? <laughs> I suppose you're too busy with classes, eh? <laughs> I could take you a selfie. You're yeah, literally. Some would think pigs are smelly. Imagine how that makes the pigs fail. Oh, the door's already there. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I was too focused on Hagrid. I had no idea that the door from... Here's that one, isn't it? Yeah, the door from Apology is just casually flown into the freaking dragon. Oh, God. I knew that today was going to be an entertaining stream. I mean, it needs to be entertaining, right, for the 20th anniversary. How could it not be? So, we're going out with a bang, man. And everyone seems to love it when I do the fat mode streams. I mean, like, the original ones of these did really well. Likewise, the Philosopher's Stone ones did great as well. Or one, even. I did only do one for that, didn't I? Yeah. I always only do one stream for that game because it's so short. But yeah, that did great too. That was nice. Hey, Hayden screenshotted it. Very nice. Need to spread that around Discord servers. <laughs> Just be like, here he is, the man himself. <laughs> uh, anyway, no, don't do that. <laughs> but yeah, he can at least put it on Twitter, I suppose. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I can hardly hear. Those pigs are loud. <laughs> that was like an absolute party, man. Hagrid, you know how to have a good rave with your pigs, my friend. <laughs> hey, Bajorn's here. Nice to see you. Welcome to Fatty World for the 20th anniversary celebration. And just because people still don't know about this, Hagrid's hut can not ever be gone inside of normally in the game. However, it does exist. This is the Philosopher's Stone version for those wondering. It's just copy and pasted over. It's just not used. I'm still sad they didn't use it. I, I wish somebody would ask, unless I missed it, but I wish somebody would ask the devs what they might have been planning with Hagrid's Hut in this. And um, just, you know, why it didn't get used in the end. I would love to know more info about that. If anyone gets the chance, ask one of the devs that. I would love to know the answer. Maybe Baldwin could send a tweet off to one of the devs quickly and ask them why Hagrid's hut never got actually used, the inside of his hut anyway, in this game. It'd be nice to know. What the hell was that? Oh, it's the wall! Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was watching what the hell that was. I was like, where did that come from? But no, I know where it came from. You can't get out that way. Yes, you can. We literally just walked straight through, mate. Oh, sorry. I just sold my very last item a moment ago. Did you? You mean you don't have any items? That's what you actually mean. You could ask Greg about it. Yeah. Shoot a message off to Greg and see what he says. I hope he responds, because actually, it would be interesting to see what he says. <laughs> Oh, right, there's the wizard card. I was like, where the hell did it go? <laughs> there's a fat gnome. Yeah, I'd be really interested to hear what Greg says about that. I always have loads of questions, like small questions in particular for the devs. So, uh, yeah, I'd love to know what he says. Right, anyway, um, there we are. I mean, how can we stream this today and not do this? <laughs> Don't worry, by the way, we will actually do the main stuff. It's just I'm pissing about a little bit. This is, like I said, a pissing about stream. you got to piss about a little bit. Come on, you got to have some fun. Oh, by the way, if you were wondering who the person was who did those interviews recently, it's Nixo. <laughs> I forgot to mention his name earlier. Sorry about that. But yeah, it was Nixo who did those interviews. Go and check out his channel and uh, watch those you know, interviews. They were really good. He did a great job with them as well. I thought Nixo executed them really well. And yeah, they're awesome to watch. So go and support him by watching them and spread them around. Do spread them around. And I thank uh, also people, you know, for spreading them around to my attention because I actually didn't know he was doing that. Um, oh my god, there's the gnome. Okay, I, d I didn't know he was actually doing that interview stuff at all until I saw it in one of the discords. It surprised me. So it was a nice surprise. 
But of course we all know that Nyxa at this point is pretty much the king speedrunner in the Harry Potter community, basically. It seems that way anyway, I mean the fact that he does all the games as well sometimes back to back, I mean... All credit to him. He must feel ill as hell after doing that. I mean, I would. <laughs> I feel so ill. <laughs> that seven hour stream I did once, I definitely did not feel like a normal human being afterwards the next day. I, I mean, my legs that next day were just dead. <laughs> they had completely died. <laughs> but yeah, you know, credit to him for doing all this stuff. Anyway. We'll uh, have a look at some gnomes jumping around in the skybox soon. You're all gonna love it. For those of you that have never seen it before, it's gonna be quite a treat. Wait, are there two pieces of music? There are. Yeah, there's two pieces of music playing over the top of one another. I've only just noticed. <laughs> They're both great pieces of music. It sounds kind of intriguing them both being over the top of one another. That's so weird. God, that is a weird mix, but it's kind of... It, it works, just about. That is weird. Oh, the peaceful life, you know, stomping everywhere, two pieces of music going together, gnomes jumping around in the skybox, thudding, making the whole environment do random stuff. It's like the perfect day in a Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets PC world. What the hell was Hedwig just doing there? I think Hedwig was just like T-posing for a minute. Also, so I see a lot of people, you know, out there in the world. And to be fair, if you're not a game designer or you don't know game design, you probably wouldn't understand that. But a lot of people confuse T posing and A posing, or they just don't know that A posing exists, and they always say T posing when actually it's A posing. Just want to point that out there. If you see a human doing that, that's a T pose. If you see them doing this, that's an A pose. Just so you know. There you go, I'm teaching you a little bit of gaming information today, or game design information, I should say. That is a mess. Look at the state of it. Look at it. Jesus Christ. Okay, right, where are the gnomes? Where are they? Hmm. They're in that skybox somewhere. Question is where? Let's go up in one of the towers. We might be able to see them a bit better. Depending on where they are. I hope they're not in the middle of the skybox. I think they are. Oh, nope, there they are. <laughs> or one of them is anyway. Uh, there we go. So let's get a closer look at that. Oh, there they both are. All right, there you go. All right, there we are. Enjoy some giant literally giant gnomes <laughs> I always love doing this it's so stupid but it's so fun it's great by the way you could put anything in the skybox like this if you wanted to you could change like the basilisk to be in there or Aragog it's great fun anyway I'm going to quickly look at the chat and leave you to look at a fat gnome running around in a skybox <laughs> oh dear Oh yeah, it inspired you. Oh bloody hell! It inspired you to try out PS One emulation, did it? Okay. If you're gonna do that, by the way, on PC, then you should use Duck Station. It's by far the best emulator out there for the PS One. Easily, hands down. All the games work pretty much perfectly on it. Also, you can get rid of wavy graphics that PS One games have, and you can get rid of pixels. It's just it improves PS One games 
immensely. It annoys me thoroughly that when I recorded my two PS1 Harry Potter 4K series back in the day, uh, Philosopher's Stone and Chamber of Secrets, that Duck Station didn't exist when I did those series. So I had to play on the PCSX1 emulator, which was fine, but you know, those games don't work very well on it, if I'm brutally honest. They have a lot of buggy issues. So, yeah. I'm tempted to redo both of those series at some point soon. Obviously, I want to redo Chamber of Secrets PS1 anyway, because it's severely out of date. But I would like to do Philosopher Stone as well, because I just think, you know, we've come a long way in the PS1 emulation game now, to the point where they should be redone and actually can look so much better than what they currently look like. So, yeah, I think it would be something that I'd be willing to go back and do soon. Basically, if there's a reason for me to go back and improve a series, in particular, like, Harry Potter-wise, then I'll do it. For example, I did that recently with the Philosopher's Stone PC. You might have noticed back in September, roughly, September now, I was releasing the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone PC movement mod series, which was basically playing the game again in 4K and that, but with the movement mod, which is the Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets PC movement, basically. And it's a whole dedicated other series. It's an updated version of the original series, if you like, but we've still got both there for people that want to see both. And um, in that other series, I also decided it would be time to actually go a bit further and showcase some bits that people don't know about about the game like hidden areas that you're not supposed to see or objects that you can cast that that don't do anything etc like that so you know it was like the ultimate reason for me to go back to it and so i have and by the way that series did really well so thank you for that <laughs> But yeah, if you're ever going to use a PS1 emulator on PC, 100% use Duck Station. There's no point using the others anymore. There really isn't. Just use Duck Station. Way better. It also supports Vulcan, which is a huge game changer, to be honest, with emulation. When you get Vulcan support, it makes a massive difference. <laughs> I'll put Harry Potter in there. Yeah, I can do that. I've done that before multiple times. Yeah, I can do it. I know why uh, <laughs> Roberto wants me to do it. There you go. Let's uh, put him about here. Oh, what? I thought I was in the box there. Obviously, I wasn't far enough in. That's fine. Where is it? There it is. I'll go further down. There you go. There we go. Just so people can see it. <laughs> it's not the most beautiful angle, is it? <laughs> Hang on. <coughs> You're right there, mate. That should do it. There we are. <laughs> yeah, you can get some pretty cursed imagery if you want to with the skybox stuff. So, uh, yeah. There we go. There, there's a the unfortunate part is where um, it's where Hegwood is currently located but anyway actually we haven't shown you fat Hegwood yet have we here you go <laughs> Jesus you actually look like somewhat normal odd, odd for me to say that but you actually look somewhat normal <laughs> right Let's go and get on with the actual game, shall we? It would be a good idea. Right, we'll grab this quick, and then we'll get on with the main game. I think it's about time we got on with it. Ah, Chip is it? Oh, that was the gnome. I was wondering what the hell was going on there. There's the gnome jumping through the skybox. Yeah, how we doing, Chip? Welcome to the uh, stream. Welcome to the stream. Also, Chip is a moderator as well for people that are wondering. So if you have anything to ask or questions or whatever, then ask him. He's also someone that will give you roles too if you join the Discord server. He's very good at that. 
Usually I'm the one that does it, but of course when I'm streaming, I don't really get round to doing it because I'm streaming and playing the game. But, you know, when I am streaming, the moderators will keep an eye on it. Plus the moderators, uh, you know, they're stepping up quite a bit now and doing some other things. By the way, here's first person mode in case you were wondering and have never seen it before. Thought I might as well show you it. Obviously the one normally doesn't look quite this fat, but yeah. <laughs> This is first person mode. You can literally play this whole game in first person mode. You can put this one on Philosopher Stone, but as far as I'm aware, it only works within the editor, which is a shame. So, um, yeah, I mean, if someone ever finds out a way to get first person mode to work on Philosopher Stone outside of just the editor, that would be awesome. And hopefully someone can let me know one day, because then I will actually do a stream on it. But unfortunately, we're not there yet. And likewise, you know, there's a lot of things you want to do with Prisoner of Azkaban on PC. You know, I'd love to do fat mode on that game, but I don't know if it's honestly ever going to be possible. Likewise, same with uh, first person mode and stuff like that. It would be great, but it's all about just being able to fat fare is extra fat. It's all about being able to actually do that. Get glorious. <laughs> what the hell is happening? Um, let's just say you're on a trip, Bajor, and you've had a real trip, and you, you didn't realise. <laughs> uh, Harry looks like a South Park character. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, you off, are you, Roberto? Oh, dear. That is a good point, actually, Roberto, that you've reminded me that now. I should probably talk about that while we're paused quickly here. I'll mention it at the end of the stream as well, but I'll mention it now. Um, thanks for actually putting that in the chat. I actually forgot about it. So, yes. Uh, but thanks for coming by, Roberto. Hopefully we might see you again, maybe later if we're still going. If not, then I hope to see you again at some other point. But yes, Roberto has made a very good point, actually. I want to talk about this quickly. If you know the YouTuber Philip Glimmer, who, of course, you know, I've done content with before and will continue to do more with in the future. Um, we've already got stuff planned, by the way, just so you're wondering. Um, we don't know whether we're going to do it yet, but we've got stuff planned. But anyway... Yes, he is streaming Chamber of Secrets PC on Saturday for the first time ever. He's actually streaming it on his channel. And he's actually doing a charity stream for it as well, which is going to helping like the helpless people around London, which, of course, is a horrifying thing. And especially as we're in a cost of living crisis at the moment, you know, a lot of people are finding it impossible to keep their houses or stay in their properties in London and London is literally one of the most expensive places in the UK so all of the funds that go towards that stream will be going to help out people who need those funds to be able to survive and live around London today who are homeless and you know it would be amazing if anyone can go out and actually help and support that so do tune in to Phil's stream on Saturday and show your support not only for him but also if you can for all the people who are suffering as well with that charity stream. Of course, you know, it's a cost of living crisis. If you have the money to spare then I know that he and everyone will really appreciate it. If not, don't feel bad about it. You know, just being there in the stream is supportive enough. Do go and support him though. It really will mean the world, not only to him, not only to me as well, to be fair, but also to everyone, really, you know, in the charity and people who actually are suffering. You will make a world of difference. I mean it. Harry, Defense Against the Dark Arts is up here. Try to hurry, Harry. We'll get to see Gilderoy Lockhart in person. No worries, Roberto. No worries at all. Oh yeah, we could get this wizard card a bit early, can't we? Hell yeah! Oh, <laughs> we got one of the keys already. So we'll just celebrate while in the... Um, oh, there we go. Oh god, I've broken the camera. Okay, good. 
I wonder if I could glitch the Nick thing. Hello, Harry. <laughs> oh, hello, Nick. I didn't expect that. Even after all these years, I still find you secret and hot. I did not expect that. Here's a special <laughs> area that you can unlock only if you collect all 40 silver cards. Okay. Well, I've definitely glitched the cutscene. I'm going to be doing that a lot, I think, in this. <laughs> Brilliant. It's not the come to me. And softlock. Yeah, softlock at the moment. Not to worry. I can fix it. Got two cauldrons at once. Sounds a bit. I wonder if I can make these disappear by just doing. Nah. Oh, I was hoping I could. Nah. It's not going to do it. We have a lot one already, though. <laughs> Which is uh, a bit early, if you ask me. We haven't even done the Richard's Emperor Challenge yet. <laughs> Talk about doing everything extra early. As you two. No, no, they're all going to bounce in. No, no. Oh, good. But hey, soft locking is like my speciality right now, it seems. Why not? <laughs> ah, the staircase. <laughs> no, I <laughs> died. Oh no, I didn't manage to do it in time. I thought I might be able to do it in time. Anyway, not to worry. <laughs> I should have seen that coming. I should have totally seen that the staircase would fall apart on me and kill me. Why I didn't see that coming is beyond me. That should have been blindingly obvious that that might happen. Oh well. <laughs> not to worry. We have a save point. It's not quite where we want to be, but that's not a problem. We'll get back to it fast enough. Welcome to the world of Deberg. <laughs> oh, nearly. Whoop. Just casually falling around. Well, why can't I move? Oh no, we've done this. I didn't mean to do this. Not to worry. I've got this totally under control. Wow! This is not how you want to be doing your debug mode right now. Oh god, I need to get to solid ground. Okay. Steady does it. Steady does it. <laughs> oh. Okay, right. Now, where are we, Harry? I don't know where you are. Where are you? <laughs> Oh no, the door's freaking... There we go. Come on, Harry. Please. This way. That's it. I'm just going to assume you'll go through the front door. There we go. <laughs> okay, good. We fixed that. Well, that was certainly something. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> just grab this while we're here. Oh, did we grab all these before we went to Hagrid's last time? I can't actually remember. Don't know. Let's have a look. Did we grab this? No. Okay. Speed run to get the freaking wizard cards quickly. Is there one here? I can't remember. Well, if that gnome comes out, I'll uh, grab hold of it. Come on, gnome. <laughs> Hope you can't hear the grandfather clock. Debug. Oh, congratulations there, Retro. Congratulations. Oh, come on, please. You're far enough out. 
Come with me, mate. We're going on a journey. <laughs> and here's the journey. Oh, hang on. I didn't check. Did we get that was a card yet? I think we did. E yes, we did. Okay, good. Out of curiosity, by the way, I don't know how many fans there are in... Oh my god, I don't know how many fans there are in here. That's amazing. Someone please screenshot that. Um, I don't know how many fans there are in here of the Star Wars stuff, but have people been enjoying Andor, if you've been watching it? I'd love to know people's opinions on it. See what people think of it. If you've watched it, of course. But don't spoil it for everyone. You know... We want to keep these things spoiler-free if we can. Oh, okay, I did get that. Fair enough. My beetle pinches collection is much better than my sister's. I can show them to you if you like. I love this Easter egg. Pardon me. Don't mind me. That's Marilyn's younger brother, Arthur. He's a bit off. <laughs> it's just such a very unnecessary Easter egg, but it's great that they put it in. I love it. I love it. I really do. Right, this time, don't trust the staircase. <laughs> Against the dark arts is up here. Try to hurry, Harry. Yeah, boy. Somehow that doesn't kill him. Might just grab this just to be on the safe side, you know. Hello, Harry. <laughs> oh, hello, Nick. <laughs> Even after all these years, um. I still find new secrets in Hogwarts. Oh, right, you took a screenshot and put it in the general chat. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, I can get that pinned. I'll have a quick look while the uh, cutscene soft locks. Jesus Christ, someone made a literal duck mouth away. Well, there you go. We'll just casually pin that and uh, we'll also pin that as well. Fabulous. <laughs> Fabulous work, Harry. Aren't you glad you learnt from the likes of me? You've now completed the exercise. <laughs> right, good stuff, good stuff. Don't forget, everyone, you've got plenty of opportunity to literally do tons of random stupid stuff throughout this. So, uh, yeah, feel free to. Right, let's move forward, shall we? Do I trust it? Oh. Seems to be alright. It's risky going on them stairs. <laughs> I don't know whether they will actually stay as a solid object or not. Just like Argus Filch coming along and going. He <laughs> just falls down. <laughs> talking to his imaginary friend. <laughs> Literally. Is Andor good? I quite like Andor. I know why a lot of people wouldn't like it, because it hasn't got too much action going on in it a lot of the time, and it can be quite slow, but in some ways that's why I like it. 
it's more like Rogue One, which I really liked, which was dark and slow. Like, it, don't get me wrong, when you have action and stuff in Star Wars, it's always great. Of course it is. But when you actually have some real character and world building going on all the time and make it really dark as well, it's just perfect, you know, it's really there for me. So that's why I love it. I think Andor is really good so far. I just love how dark it is. <laughs> it's really satisfying. <laughs> no getting through here. I beg to differ, Mr. Potter. <laughs> Don't go spending all your creative energy. Save some for fat peeves. Yeah, fat peeves will be making his way into the stream later on. You are right. Very. You are right. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I'm very excited for fat peeves. Plus, we do have fat peeves emoji as well in the Discord. So, everyone knows the rule. You've got to spam the living crap out of peeves emojis. But in this case today, it will be fat boobs emojis, which is always fun. Right. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Hearing voices won't get you. I'll mark this down against you. Now move along while I clean this up. Just falls through the floor. <laughs> oh yeah, you can open this, can't you? Can you not? I thought you could open it by doing this. Oh, is it the sword? I think it might be. Is it the sword? Wait, hang on, hang on. Is it this that opens it? Uh, hmm. Maybe not. I thought it was. I swear there is a way to open this. Also, these sinks look very messy, man. Where is she? Where is she? There she is. Hello, Fat Myrtle. Oh, you can't kill Myrtle. Do you? <laughs> you won't be having feelings soon if you get killed by this sword. Oh, I can hear gnomes already. The gnome spawning. Oh my god, look at the state of all of this. Alright, gnomes. Jesus Christ, I think I just killed the toilet. <laughs> I did indeed just kill the toilet. Well, that's a uh, rip gnome right there. A rip gnome. I guess uh, some of you can feel some comfort for all this, because now you won't be constantly hearing gnomes all the time. Ugh. <laughs> uh. I wonder if that toilet will respawn. I guess we'll find out. So Jesus Christ. This river is just literally covered in tons of smoke. <laughs> oh, I think you'll find it's actually fat Harry Potter that is vandalizing it with a sword that is fat. It's not any ordinary sword, it's a fat sword. I wonder if you can. Oh wait, no, they're these ones, aren't they? Come on. They get off the stairs quick. It's so hard to hit them with the stairs in the way. Nah. There he is, the man that got interviewed by Phil of Glimmer. He also follows me on Twitter, actually, which surprised me when that happened. I was very thankful for that. There he is, the guy who created the wizard card art. 
right there. That is Jeff. Good old Jeff. Whee! Okay, I wasn't expecting that, to be fair. I was only expecting the freaking door at best to open, but here we are. Should go back to the hospital wing and destroy it. <laughs> That's what's on my mind, just destroying it. We're celebrating this game's 20th anniversary and I'm just desperate to destroy everything. Here we are. When you are given way too much creative freedom, what can I say? <laughs> it is good fun. Oh, okay. How the hell did that get activated from here? How? I didn't even hit any of these in. Are you serious? That's ridiculous. I wonder what happens if I... Oh, you don't look healthy. I've never seen so many spider bites in a single year. Really? <laughs> If you say so. <laughs> Hello, Fedora. Welcome to the stream. Nice to see. Oh, looks the stairs are gone. Nice to see you. Why is it every time I turn to look at the chat, something goes wrong in the game? Every time. It's typical. Interesting. This bed seems to be invincible. It's because it's the one that mine is in, isn't it? That's really weird. That's kind of cool. You actually can't destroy that bed. Nope. <laughs> that is certainly something that I was not expecting to have happen. Huh. Can't believe you can't actually destroy that other bed. Really? Well, at least Hermione's going to be all on her own, I guess. <laughs> she gets a private hospital. What more does she want? Just be greedy for anything else. Oh my god, the sword with Lumos on it. <laughs> That's great. Oh, I love it. Ah, there they are. I haven't seen you for a little while, bots. Unfortunately, by the way, guys, for this game, we can't really get rid of the bots because you can't alt-tab out of the game to do it. So I'd have to quit the entire game to get rid of them. So you're just going to have to put up with them, I'm afraid, for this game. Whoa! <laughs> but there we are. They are annoying, but I guess they want to celebrate Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets PCs, you know, 20th uh, anniversary. It makes sense, you know. Why wouldn't you want to celebrate it? I totally understand. Hello, Harry. I'm Madame Pomfrey, Hogwarts nurse. And of course, the way they want to celebrate it is by getting you lot off to dating apps as quickly as possible. That are totally legit. <laughs> uh... Oh god, the stairs have actually all disappeared. What? <laughs> well, this happened uh, while I was in the hospital wing. <laughs> Where the hell do they all go then? That's ridiculous. What happened to all those? Where have they even gone? That's madness. Oh, they're all over here by the looks of things. Let's have a look. Mr. Paul got hungry. Jesus. Well, we found some... Oh, right, the wall. Okay. Well, we definitely found something. That's amazing. There's some really... Um... Yeah, well... <laughs> 
Christ. <laughs> oh, God, he's literally got butterfly lips. Literally. That's fabulous. Anyway, um... Jesus, look at the smoke. <laughs> look at it all. There's just tons of it coming from the hospital wing. You would have thought that that'd probably be the least safe area for anyone to go. Right. Here we go. Should we, uh... Should we do this cutscene in a slightly different way? If we can. Right. Kill Norris. Kill that. Okay. This should be an interesting cutscene. <laughs> Lovely. Let's see if it does anything. I'm curious to see. Yeah, I block all links, so... As a result, the bots don't have links at all, no. You're all fine. How am I able to destroy stuff? I'm in sword mode. In sword mode in this game, you can destroy anything you want. <laughs> you murdered my cat. I'll kill ya. I'll kill ya. Literally have murdered the cat this time. <laughs> <laughs> Filch is so upset that he can't spawn into the cutscene. I wonder if we speed it up or if he'll come by. Oh, uh, hang on. <laughs> Sounds promising. Just go a little bit faster. It's literally a machine gun of just error sounds. Well, this is fabulous. Anyway, you get a real huff, hunch, <laughs> WWE ready Harry there with his sword. Oh, yeah, you get a slow mo version now. Uh, anyway, I think we should skip the cutscene. Oh, we're still in the cutscene. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Not to worry. I've got it all under control. <laughs> totally under control. By doing this. Oh, wait, no, hang on. It's, uh, there. Is that going to do it? Oh, I think, I don't know. <laughs> what have I done to this game? <laughs> Come on, please. Come on. <laughs> You know you want to. Jesus Christ, lock up, mate. Help me out, buddy. <laughs> He's just standing there ready with his sword. He's like, I'm ready to learn which is Emperor. <laughs> okay, uh, well. <laughs> this isn't looking too promising, is it? Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, I can activate this. Anyway, oh, go on. <laughs> I don't think so. I think I really have actually completely broken this. Not to worry. Let's kill Harry instead. That should do it. Hmm. Let's go over in the corner. There we are. I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> There's me trying to kill Harry. And it's just, he lands on a student and that's what he gets. Fabulous. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> My plan to kill Harry has failed. A student has successfully saved him. Uh, right. Pardon me. Oh, yeah, alright. Pardon you, indeed. Hmm. I can't remember which one of these to load. Oh, God. Actually, are we even on the right one? Oh, uh, God. Maybe, Hello. maybe. Hang on, hang on. Uh, I will find this with my increasingly depleting eyesight. Uh, Grand Staircase Hub. There we are. That should do it. Right, hopefully we'll be alright. There we are, we're alright. Beautiful, okay, let's um, 
Let's actually go to the proper class now, shall we? I wonder if we can go to this cutscene backwards and do something stupid. I'm just too busy trying to break things now. What did I just open? Oh, the chest in there. I've got a better idea. Where is he? There he is! You, my friend, are coming into a cutscene with me and I am looking forward to it. Thoroughly looking forward to this. Okay, right, let's do this. Here we go. Oh, no, you're not meant to drop him. <laughs> Why'd you drop the gnome? I'd better get out of here. Filch might be Gonna be speed nearby. running. Well, well, well. I heard a crash. Nice speed running. Yeah, press the mask for the game cube. So always a good one to speed run. The door. Argus Filch, the caretaker, was loathed by every student at Hogwarts. Some thought his cat, Mrs. Norris, spied on students. Honestly, it, it just fell. <sighs> The gnome is like doing a one leg balance in the background, like, get off. <laughs> hey, what are you talking about? Hey, what are you talking about? I get off. <laughs> Hearing voices won't get you off. Uh, I'll mark this down against you. Now move along while I clean this up. <laughs> I must have been. <laughs> <laughs> the gnome. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yes, I think everyone can be in agreement with that, Baldwin. You. Interesting. You got to remember, Baldwin. It was my job to go around breaking things. It literally was my job. So uh, yeah, you know, I I have reasons for breaking stuff. Oh, I I didn't even move forward there. <laughs> But I'll delight you with one anyway. I am Gilderoy Lockhart, Order of Merlin, third class. Honorary member of the Dark Force, Defense League. Can't wait to see the gnome come to the front of the classroom. Please, most charming <laughs> smile award. Ah, I see you've all bought a complete. You know set what of my game books. it is, Bubble. Well Chamber of Secrets, PC. We shall be learning. Can never ask Rictus that question. Sempra spell. Rictus Sempra. Is wait, where'd the gnome go? <laughs> Where is it? Such as Cornish what pizza? happened to it? Who wants to be first? Harry Potter, will you step down here, please? Lucky. What? What happened to the gnome? <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> it just like wiped it out from existence Clear your or mind something. Completely, Harry. Don't even think about All right. it. All right. And concentrate on the symbol in front of you. I got got. See the you one did indeed. It's going to move its way around. You the did symbol. indeed. At the exact point when the one passes over the point, arrows, which is now going to be even more annoying to find. <laughs> this exercise has three parts. You must hit all of the arrows correctly no, he's not allowed in order this to progress time, no. to the next round. Ready to try? Round one. Begin. Feels like a Christmas game. Is the Vasca burn for? Uh... Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess so. Ish. Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next round. Five points to Gryffindor. Round two. That is not a wand, begin. it's a torch. <laughs> a brown torch. Yeah, definitely. It looks like a giant. Well done, Harry. You've sort advanced of brown to brown liquish of some kind. Points to Gryffindor. Round three. Begin. Well, that was easy. All right. Harry, aren't you glad you've learned from the likes of me? You've now completed the exercise. So broken Harry's fool, yeah. Fifteen points to Gryffindor. You've learned Rick to Sempra. You didn't do as well as I did the first time, but then. Who could? <laughs> now, how about a turn in the spell practice arena? Oh, yeah. Anyway, that was certainly something. Welcome, Harry Potter, He's ready. <laughs> to complete the challenge, you must find the completion star, which will be found at the top of this tower. Interesting, the star hasn't Try gone fat. As quickly as you can. I'm surprised. If the challenge timer reaches zero before you have the completion Very star, surprised. you lose the challenge. Fair enough. 
Along the way, you will find and challenge the fun stars. Begins. Collecting challenge stars will boost your timer yep. and score. Try and <laughs> oh, Jesus, a fly crab. Try to get the completion uh, star with oh, as many dear. seconds remaining as possible. This is going to be interesting. The score is when you complete the challenge. I mean, the, more house points the Spongify the challenge was physically begin. impossible to actually Luck. complete normally Three, when two, we did one, this before. Go. Like, you literally couldn't do it. It's physically impossible. Rabbits, a nasty little pests that like to shoot hot flame out of... Uh, well, at you. You can stun them by casting <laughs> Who's that Cartman? Them. Then you can use Flip yeah, to push them around. This indicates that a fire crab placed on or nearby the symbol will cause something to happen in the world, Harry. Yes, the statues of fire. I'll show you in a moment. Flipendo to push the fire crab onto this plate. Can't wait for the incendio challenge. You mean the defendo challenge? Get your spells right, come on. Actually, you know what? Let's do. Yeah, go on, let's do it like this. In. In. It's working. <laughs> Alright, everything is already teleporting away. Good start. Let's do this. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't see what's going on. There we go. <laughs> ah! Jesus Christ, I wasn't expecting that. Should have got ready on the delete key for uh, fly mode. It <laughs> would have been wise. I don't know why I keep saying I'm not expecting this when I should just expect it to happen. I don't know why I somehow, for some reason, don't expect this to happen. <laughs> it should be obvious. I'm here. I'm ready, giant orange snail. That's a giant orange snail. Jesus. Avoid touching them or their slime trails. The acid that they secrete will burn you. Harry, trust me, I know. Rick to Sempra will stun them. You may prefer Incendio, but we're not using Incendio. We're using Defendo. That's where it is at, my friend. you got to get your facts right. If you don't get your facts right, you live in a world of torturous... <sighs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> wait, what, what? The thing is over there. How am I going to get the other one? Oh, why, why did I even bother saying that? Of course I know how I'm going to get the other one. <laughs> Doesn't matter. wonder if this will... Well, sort of. <laughs> I wonder if I can... Oh, I can't. I wonder if I could get the star like this. Probably not. Nah. Doesn't go high enough. That would have been pretty impressive though. Anyway. Just need to borrow you for a minute. Oh, come on. How was that not close enough? There we are. So, that one while we're at it. <laughs> oh, dear. How is it over here in the UK? It's very UK-ish. <laughs> I don't know really what else to say. Lots of UK-ness going on. Everyone feels like they're from the UK when they're in the UK and we're all just super UK-like. There you go. That's my best description of the UK. <laughs> I don't think there's really much more else to say right now. <laughs> Do, 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 there's a gnome. Gnomes are a greedy lot. Weather-wise, rain. Steal your which is normal. Flipendo will push them onto their backs and cause them to drop anything they might have stolen. You can also pick up gnomes Peanut? and throw them around. Oh, that sounds horrible. Throw them into a gnome <laughs> hole to permanently Sounds like the most horrendous tea flavor ever. That is a gnome hole. This is where gnomes I hope you're enjoying that gnome shaking his arse at you lot. Goods. What can I say? He likes a good twerk on the odd occasion. Get rid of them. You he did twerking either. before Miley Cyrus did it. There you go. Look at that. Gnomes did twerking before Miley Cyrus confirmed. <laughs> Hell yeah, the door is already gone. <laughs> Didn't take long. Do, 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 do. 
<laughs> the pixies were a nightmare in fact mate well you're gonna see them again I hope you're ready I'm really praying that this bit doesn't glitch if it does it's gonna be a disaster okay it's positive so far I think we're all right Whoa. Jesus, okay. That was lucky. That was so damn lucky. Right. <laughs> it was only a matter of time, but that was lucky. Hello, guys. How we doing? It's been a little while. I've been missing you, fire crabs. I don't get to see you lot in the Deathly Hallows games, I just get to see the same Snatcher and the same Death Eater constantly popping in going, we won't hurt you, or just come with us, we've got a nice warm cell for you, <laughs> as they like to say. Or the famous one, seal the exits, and then Hermione literally, and I kid you not, whips out a 50 Barrett cow <laughs> and just snipes the Death Eater in the face with it. It literally is a 50 Barrett cow sound. You couldn't make it up even if you tried. Literally is 50 Barrett cow. <laughs> it's all you hear. It's just her going, no, Ron! It's straight in the Death Eater's face. <laughs> it's fabulous. <laughs> Honestly, one of the best highlights ever. Uh, but, you know, 50 Barrett Cows were a pretty, uh, pretty big thing back in those days. You know, I remember this was 2010 time period. Which is the time period where, just before it, you had, of course, Modern Warfare 2. Which was the prime, prime game for 50 Barrett Cows. And, um, you know, EA needs to capitalise on that 50 Barrett Cow goodness. So, they did. <laughs> and it went well. Doors are for losers. Yeah, it's more weather-wise here in the UK. It's just rain. Always rain. Nothing more. Just rain. We love it. Why do anything else when you could just have rain? Still amazed we had a hot summer though. Not that I like that, but I'm glad we still had some kind of heat, I suppose. Still didn't like it, but I'm glad we had something. <laughs> right. One. One. That one. That one! Hell yeah! Oh, they've all disappeared. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no, not this platform. Should be alright though. Well, that should at least guarantee me some kind of success. Hmm. That gnome must be... Wait, what? That gnome is making... You thirsty? You what now? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why was the gnome making you thirsty? I've completely missed that point. What was it doing? Oh, it's twerking, of course. <laughs> That's why. I understand now. <laughs> Totally not just locking it in. All makes sense now. <laughs> you can literally just lock them in again. Well, that's not at all torture. Gnome phobia. <laughs> Gnome twerking became the kink. Yeah, I'm sure the devs would be really happy to know about that. Oh dear.
Oh god. Well, you can blame freaking Miley Cyrus, I guess, for that being a thing now. <laughs> but you can also blame Bubble for making that comment. <laughs> But then again, would I expect anything different from Bubble? Nah. <laughs> it's perfectly normal. It's like an average day in the world of Bubble. The amount of things in the YouTube chats on these live streams in the past when I've gone back that I've had <laughs> to unhide from Bubble just because YouTube's like, whoa, inappropriate. <laughs> it's ridiculous. There are tons of them. <laughs> Good luck finding gnomes. Ah, I'll be fine. I can find them. Come here. There we go. Whee. Whee. It's mine. Mine was a guard. It's a trap. Oh. <laughs> it was a trap, I should say. It's no longer a trap. <laughs> I can just walk past them. That's exactly what I'm going to do. See you later, lads. <laughs> God, that would make a hell of a difference for a speed run, wouldn't it? <laughs> sure, it would be classified entirely as a glitch cheating, I guess, but still, it would make a big difference. <laughs> Who doesn't like to get a bit of speed in their speed runs? Alright, let's do this. I'm ready. Whew. Gotta head off to the woods and find some gnomes. Hello, hello! Welcome to the stream! Welcome, welcome, welcome! I should also mention to everyone that the moderators are now going to start doing some very like, more, how should I put it, engaging activities and things are coming up anyway in the Discord. So, they're going to get you lot engaged as much as possible going forward. See, I would love to be able to dedicate the time to really engage with everyone and do a lot of things in the Discord, and I try my best, but I will be honest, and Phil will tell you the same. <laughs> Like anyone would tell you the same as a content creator. When you create content, you pretty much just have no time to do anything else in life. It's just the way it works, because you've got to bear in mind that you're going and recording and creating all the content and getting it out there. And then on top of that, you also have your real life to deal with as well. So then you basically just have no time. <laughs> it's a little sad, but there you go. Welcome to the world of content creation. But yes, I try to interact when I can in the Discord and things. I do like to. Of course I do. <laughs> but as for like doing activities and that, usually because I'm too busy doing other things, I never get a chance to do it. So the moderators are going to start doing it. So yeah, you can keep an eye on the moderators and see what they're going to do to liven up things for you lot. And I know they're going to do something for Christmas. I know some of them have already got stuff planned. So yeah. I've just noticed the middle pillar is gone. That's not fun. <laughs> That's really not fun. Not to worry, this is going to be interesting. As the devs intended it, let's go! Well done, Mr. Potter. <laughs> you have completed my Ritual Sembra challenge. The remaining time now becomes your what? personal high school. What a fabulous way to end it. With a ton of fire grabs that totally would try and kill me normally. That's brilliant. That's probably one of the best endings I've ever seen to a challenge, to be honest. <laughs> nope. I do also want to add, though, that the moderators that we've got in the Discord are all great people. They also, you know, are very active people that will engage and do everything they can to keep all you guys engaged as much as possible inside that server and I know they will do a good job with that. I picked them all for a reason. 
So I guarantee you that they will come up with something pretty impressive soon. I know something is planned for Christmas. The weekly house point ceremony is about to start. Follow me and I'll show you where it is. He's absolutely down. Yeah, literally. I do want to try and make it my job though to try and get into the Discord server and try and chat with all you lot a bit more frequently in like the general chat and so on. So for people that are in the Discord server I will do my absolute best to try and get in a bit more frequently as much as I can. Because I want to. Of course I do. But obviously you all know that I will respond to things eventually when I'm in the Discord server and so on anyway. Just take some time. That's all. But of course, you know, when we have lively chats and that in there, we do have lively chats in there. <laughs> Absolutely. Right, let's do this. Stomping his way in. Jesus Christ, 206. <laughs> totally not beating them. To the very first weekly house point ceremony of the school year. The house with the most points. It was like a wedding. If you say so. The length of the visit. I'm glad to have you as a moderator. Both of you, Chip and John. That also has. <laughs> All of you. Oh, it appears that Gryffindor is in the lead. Harry. It looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. Good luck, and remember, you only have a little time to collect the bean. Yeah, the game night thing should be really fun. I'm kind of interested to see what the moderators do with that. I'm sure you guys will ace that. <laughs> I have a lot of faith that you will ace the game nights. So yeah. Join them in. I assume that they'll probably pick a game of some kind and then, you know, it'll be one of those things where you sit down and play with each other. It'll always be quite fun. I wonder if Ravenclaw would ever get in the beam bonus room. Nah. They're Ravenclaw. They never get anywhere, do they? It would appear. I was thinking at some point, by the way, of doing a live stream. Just looking at all the different things we've had for Hogwarts Legacy, including like this new trailer and stuff. I'm just sitting down and watching that and uh, discussing it with you lot, really. Because obviously I did cover like the very first ever promotional thing for Hogwarts Legacy a while ago. And I know that, you know, people really liked my opinions and stuff for it back then. And I have had a few people that are kind of sad that I haven't said anything more regarding Hogwarts Legacy. So, yeah, you know. Hi, there you are. I might do it. If there's enough demand from Time people, for I'll do practice, it. Harry. None of the other teams have started training yet, so we'll have a good head start. But I haven't had lunch yet. You can eat later. Follow me to the Quidditch pitch. But yeah, I would feel good, you know, talking about Hogwarts Legacy stuff. I have held off talking about it for other reasons, just so you are all aware, but... Uh, Hey, Harry, stuff that I, you know, we buy shouldn't we have a problem with you. anymore, so it would be nice to talk about it. Alright, the Quidditch time. <laughs> In fat mode. We're going to make sure we win the Quidditch Cup this year, That's and the way we're going to do that is practice, practice, <laughs> practice. First, a quick recap of what we learned last year. Of course you already know that the red ball is called the Quaffle, and it's the job of the three chasers to get it past the enemy keeper and into one of the goalposts. But you don't need to concern yourself with that. There are also two bludgers flying around, which you don't want to get hit by. But don't worry, each team has two beaters who try to keep them away from you. 
Last, and most importantly, it's your job as our seeker to catch the golden snitch before the end <coughs> seeker does. Since you've been off all summer, let's start out easy. I'm going to throw <laughs> up a snitch for you, <laughs> and I want you to try to catch it. luxury Sounds cats. easy enough? <laughs> Jesus. You can use your arrow keys to steer your broom left, right, up, and down. Whee. Quidditch is a rough game for me, but don't worry, padding helps. Padding helps. It's totally unnecessary, mate. If you have enough beans, when I can just do this for the whole thing. Yeah, let's go. Woo! That's it, Harry. Stay right on the snitch. You've almost got it. I've got it, mate. Yeah, look at me go. <laughs> Now the rest of the Gryffindor team is here, <laughs> that let's play a mock game of quick. Absolutely incredible. Avoid Look at Fred and George. Seeker. Look at them. I'm going to have a Gryffindor <laughs> standing as an enemy seeker. Jesus you need to Christ. make sure she's out of the way before you can catch the snitch. Don't worry, <laughs> you'll take it easy on you. That is truly horrifying. <laughs> <sighs> Don't drink and fly. Hello. <laughs> Love it. Right, let's catch the snitch. Yeah, boy. Die. Die, fat Quidditch player. Take him out. Kick and shove him? Why would I do that when I can just kick him in the face? That's how brutal you can be in this. Just whack him in the face. <laughs> Literally the most... Incredible sport ever. Just knock someone out Excellent by kicking them in the face. You're back on form, Potter, which means we've got a great chance. Not there they are. <laughs> Aren't you finished yet, Harry? Don't look now, but here comes a slither. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't believe it. I booked the pitch for today. Hey, there they are, the fatties on their way. <laughs> yes, they are. They <laughs> that beta ones. guy looks great. Yeah, I know. Apparently, Lucius <laughs> Malfoy made a very generous donation. Like our new brooms, Weasley. What are you doing here, Malfoy? I'm the Slytherin Seeker now. Didn't you know? Perhaps someday Gryffindor will be able to afford new brooms. Well, at least no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in. They got in on pure talent. No one asked your opinion, you filthy little mudblood. Jesus Christ, he literally one, looks Malfoy. like a duck. Well, at least I could afford it, Weasley. Unlike you. Ah, oh, rich duck. <laughs> Leave it, Ron. He's not worth the trouble. Nah, he's a rich duck. <laughs> Mudblood. The nasty duck name blood. some wizards use for other wizards who were born to non-magical parents. <laughs> Non-duck blood, mud, there you go. <laughs> October arrived damply at Hogwarts, spreading a soggy chill over the grounds and into the castle. A different kind of chill would soon set in as well. It's time for potions class with <laughs> Professor Snape. We don't want to be late. You know what he's like. It's down in the dungeons. Follow me. <laughs> Config lawsuits don't exist in the wizarding world. <laughs> nah. They just get Dementors involved instead. Do anything bad, you get your soul sucked out. End of. That'll do it. Easy way around. It does, Harry. We're about to learn how to mix potions that we can totally glitch out and cheat in this game. Now pay attention. <laughs> how would you pay attention with all that? Potter, you have just volunteered to show the rest of the class yeah. how this is done. Get up here immediately. It's the whole screen shaking. The Wigan Weld potion will restore some of your lost stamina. Even a single bottle is capable of healing the most grievous wounds. In this chest are the two ingredients of the Wigan Weld potion. Flubberworm mucus and Wigan tree bark. Take them out. <sighs> now, walk up 
to the cauldron. Try not to touch the potion. I don't want it contaminated. If you say so, Snape. Hey. Where are you going, boy? Get back over here and complete your lesson. In that case, I have an idea. <laughs> you can't get me. You can't get me. DJ Harry, everyone. Make his way in. <laughs> Where are you going, boy? Get back over here and complete your lesson. I'll complete the lesson, Snape, alright. <laughs> Observe Mr. Potter adding the ingredients to the cauldron and mix. Hey, I didn't Therefore, use up any Potter, of the ingredients. Get in there. Lose house points. Mr. Potter now has a Wigan Weld potion. To drink the potion, press <laughs> space bar. Potter, Back you are testing my patience. <laughs> Those of you who are patients, or more probably clumsy, <laughs> will no doubt want to make Wigan World potions on your own. Therefore, there are cauldrons like this one A throughout Hogwarts. They are the only cauldrons in which Wigan World potions can be made. Dear and the ingredients, <laughs> flubberworm mucus and Wigan tree bark, can also be found throughout Hogwarts. Now for today's lecture. The history of flubberworm mucus oh. extraction. <laughs> I was really hoping for a Oh, there we go. <laughs> that right, I'll cue. I thought I knew everything I wanted to about flubberworm mucus, and I was right. Well, I thought he touched on some Why did I do that ultimate? Because it's fun. That's why. We get to make everyone fat. Why wouldn't you want to do it? What was that? What was what? That voice. It was coming from over there. Come on. Oh boy. <laughs> this really makes it just that much more of an experience, doesn't it? You find yourself really immersed when everything's shaking. <laughs> oh, we get fat, fat cat now. <laughs> fat cat. Oh, that's horrible. What's going on? <sighs> God, look at Ginny. <laughs> oh, we get to Enemies see Crab and Goyle. Oh, I say we get to You'll see him. Next, They're a bit covered up. Well, oh, there he is. <laughs> There's the uh, butterfly penguin. <laughs> She's been petrified, but how? I cannot say. And now, I would like everybody to please return to their dormitories. There's nothing else to see here. Come on, Harry. Professor Dumbledore's right. There's nothing more to see here. <laughs> Just a load of water you're currently standing in, and everyone's fat. <laughs> Everyone at Hogwarts was disturbed by the attack on Mrs. Norris and the mysterious words scrawled on a wall. Rumors and speculations spread. Hermione in particular was especially affected. Ron and Harry became sure that she was up yeah. to something, <laughs> but whatever it was, she remained tight. Well, you know, you gotta stand out while you go swimming, don't you? <laughs> we have to get to Charms class, Harry, and I have an idea. That looks so weird an walking towards the camera. What? We should ask Professor Flitwick about the Chamber of Secrets. Her She's hair, bound to man. Know something. Let's go. Her hair just. She looks like one of the Ephorians from freaking Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. One of the guys that literally. St <laughs> Still can't believe they do that. Stands there and talks to the player or like someone else and just goes, Hoof out your teeth. It's like, hmm. If you say so. Ah, Fly, welcome to the stream. Welcome to celebrating Harry Potter and the James Secrets BC with Fatty Mo. We don't want to be late it's for good, isn't it? Coming, Hermione. Uh, it, was 20, uh, yeah, it was 20 years old yesterday. But as I wasn't streaming yesterday, we didn't get to stream yesterday. But, you know, we're streaming today. 
So, I guess you could technically say that it's 20 years old recently. Well, it is recently. <laughs> so, yeah, it's good enough. Oh, yeah, we didn't show you the McGonagall thing earlier, did we? We'll do that later. Forgot we haven't shown you that. Not to worry. Ah, end lad is there. Welcome, end lad. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Sorry about that, Phil. To break more valuable school property as it move along. If you want to remain at Hogwarts, you ought to do as you're told. I've got my eye on you, Harry Potter. I love the size of his broom. It's just massive. Don't think you can outwit me, Mr. Potter. I'm oh, on to you. Mrs. Norris. <laughs> That's what he normally says, but of course the devs did remove that. Because of course Mrs. Norris is no more. Although it would have been kind of hilarious if they'd left that line in. <laughs> Blast it, Potter. I'll get you. Back to break more valuable school property asset. Move along. I'll get you! Back to break more valuable school property as it move along. I love breaking valuable school property. <laughs> Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. How depressing. Hack! I just love the way he does like it's just like hack! Plastic butter, I'll get you! <laughs> He's got some classic quotes. Now, is this toilet completely destroyed, is the real question. No! Fabulous! Okay, what we're gonna do... We're just gonna spawn a couple of gnomes. We won't go too overboard just yet. No, oh, hang on. There we are. Oh, you're in the way. There we go. Let's get them out. Come on out, lads. Right, I just want a gnome, one gnome, did we get one? Yes we did, beautiful. Right, we will come back and do more of this later, but for now, this guy's coming with me. Yes, fat gnome is coming with me. Let's go. Yeah, I think I know where this is going. Do you? <laughs> Are you sure about that? Oh, he didn't quite touch it. Hang on. Thanks for making the potion for me, Naomi. I appreciate it. Hang on. I could just keep doing that as well. Oh. Why didn't it work that time, I wonder? Sometimes works this and sometimes doesn't. Because I've still got ingredients, haven't I? Well, did it actually take down my ingredients this time? Maybe it did. I don't think it did, but anyway, there you go. Ah, Captain Jack is here. Welcome to the stream, Captain Jack. And yes, he has gained some weight. He's also gained a gnome. Which he's taking to class with him. Welcome to Charms class. Today, we shall be learning the Scourge Charm. Yes, Miss Granger? I was just wondering if you could, uh, <laughs> tell us something about the Chamber of Secrets. Looks so weird. I deal with charms, Miss Granger, not myths and Looks legends. like a demented parrot. Please, Professor, <laughs> we all want to hear. Oh, very well. Definitely a demented parrot. There were four <laughs> founders of Hogwarts. Godric Gryffindor, Salazar Slytherin, Helga Hufflepuff, and Rowena The Rindor. toilet respawned it did, yeah. Slytherin wanted to admit only uh... the wizard-born students to Hogwarts. The other founders refused, and as a result, Slytherin left the school. Yes, Miss Granger? He built a secret chamber in the castle of which the other founders knew nothing. With a great monster to guard the chamber 
from within. Oh, the bit where you turn into Goyle. Yeah, we might make it. I don't know. We'll see. Slytherin's we will see. true heir will return to open the chamber and control the horror within. And then, all who are not wizard-born will be purged from Hogwarts. You've got to love the way that he's nonsense, just, you know, now, got a gnome casually in his class. There it is, struggling away like, Help me! Flitwick! Please! Oh, there's Argus Spirits. Please! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Get Try off. to focus <laughs> on all this chamber of secrets, Balderdash. Concentrate on the symbol in front of you. How to make them the fat? There's a command that you can use in the, the game to make them fat. The I've written how to do that, by the way. All this fat arrows, mode stuff. It's down in the description. The so uh, yeah, this if you want to do it for yourself, just look at what I've done down in the description and copy that. All of the arrows in sequence. You can do it yourself. Ready to try? Round one. Go. Get off. Get off. <laughs> Get off. I'm learning Scourge, Gnome. You can scourge away all the enemies with your twerking arse now. Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next level of the lesson. Five points to Gryffindor. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, Bejeweled. Maybe. I don't really know. Get off. This really just makes this experience that much better. <laughs> just get a gnome struggling for well dear life done, in the Harry. background. You've advanced to the next level of the lesson. Ten points to Gryffindor. Round three. Go. Torchwood, eh? God, that's a show I haven't heard about for a long time. There we are. Well done. You've completed all of the necessary exercises. Is Professor Spat in the game? Yeah, she is. Points to For the Defindo challenge. Well done, <laughs> Mr. Potter. You've there successfully is. learned Scourge. <laughs> now it's time for you to test your newly learned knowledge in the Scourge Spell Challenge. I love the way his voice pitch just goes super high there for Welcome, no apparent Harry reason. Potter to my Scourge Challenge. To complete scourge. the challenge, you must find <laughs> the completion what he star, does. which can be found several floors below us. Try to get to it as quickly as you can. If the challenge timer reaches zero before you have the completion star, you lose the challenge. Uh, yes, she does make plant puns. Along the way, yep. you'll find challenge stars. Collecting challenge stars will boost your timer and score. I highly recommend you try to find all of them. Try to get it the is. It's the best Harry Potter game. I agree, Jack. I agree. The higher your score is when you complete 100%. the challenge, the more house points I will award you. Easily the best. No competition. And that's why we are celebrating its 20th birthday. <laughs> Will we ever celebrate something like the Deathly Hallows' birthday? Probably not. <laughs> Might do one just for Mr. Baldwin. <laughs> just to make him feel like he has some kind of love given to him for these awful, awful Harry Potter games known as the Deathly Hallows. Pleasant greenish substance left behind by certain ghostly beings. In some places, it will block Could doorways sure and openings. The mine you can cast scourge to get rid of it. I think the minecart is the least of my concerns for this. Nope. <laughs> there he is, the fat fair. Literally, the fat fair flying through. You can also cast Scourge to free items that have been trapped by ectoplasm. <laughs> we. you got to love the fact, right, that the Spongify spell in this game, it pretty much is, if you play it Unreal, then it basically is actually the uh, jump pad stuff from, I think it's Unreal 2. They had like that in the game, and it's basically just that entire mechanic almost put into this. Obviously it's changed up a bit to make it a spell and so on, but yeah, that, <laughs> that is literally what it is. <laughs> that is Spongify. <laughs> It's just an unreal mechanic, pretty much changed up. And it's pretty cool, really. 
why not make use of the engine you're making your game on by taking stuff from the original Unreal games? Oh, by the way, Discord time. Get your emojis ready in the general chat. Fat Peeves is about to make his entrance. Fat Peeves emoji time. Oh, oh no, it's Peeves. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Stotty, potty, potty water. I like your name. It rhymes with so many <laughs> shouting things. What did I do to him? <laughs> <laughs> I sent him through the floor. Can I hurt him? <laughs> oh, I can. <laughs> well, this is a very intriguing boss fight. <laughs> Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I did not mean to just jump in and then make him fly underneath the floor. But, uh, now well, here we are. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I've managed to activate that somehow. I'm miles away from... Oh, what the hell is going on with that? Oh, I'm standing on it now, I think. <laughs> anyway, there you go. I hope you're enjoying the smoke. <laughs> right, now, how do I get out of this mess? <laughs> All right, I made it across. Not too much smoke, it's all good. <laughs> anyway, I have officially just completely broken to hell that entire section of the game. Including this. That is completely broken. Oh, yeah, it is completely broken. <laughs> Fabulous. No need to go around when I'm already on the right side. <laughs> I have to say, we've really broken this section big time. I never thought I would ever see Peeves literally fly through the floor when I walk up to attack him. But here we are. <laughs> here we are. Anyway, this section shouldn't be too difficult. <laughs> There's no thing to push or anything. Right. Was that a Peeves laugh? Yeah. Peeves does laugh at points during this challenge, actually. It's quite cool. It's like they kind of put in early jump scares. Also, HP1 health bars come out there. I love that. I actually prefer the look of the HP1 health bars to the HP2 ones. I think they look a lot more crisp, the HP1 ones. They look a lot nicer. Ah, anyway, we've had enough jumping from the moment. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh. Ah. <laughs> well, I found the thing I just lost. The mechanism has literally... <laughs> wow. Just look at the state of that. <laughs> look at the state of it. That's fabulous. That's absolutely fabulous. What the hell is this supposed to be? What even is that? I have really broken this challenge. <laughs> uh. 
Something feels odd. <laughs> I think we're a bit more beyond the odd part. Oh, you were right there. So sorry about that. I, uh, I'm afraid there's a problem with the uh, entirety of the level. <laughs> I apologise for you falling to your near death. <laughs> Can I open it from inside? No. Alright, well, anyway. He's chopping to his son. Uh, oh yeah! Go! Oh, do you mind? Get in there with your mate. Oh. Right, well that's not opening, so good thing we have debug. <laughs> <laughs> Just heard one of the snails fall to its death. Nice one, buddy. <laughs> that's not opening, right, not to worry. Oh, I do love myself a debug. Thank God the devs left debug in the game. <laughs> or this would be quite an interesting experience. They are atmospheric, I agree, Bajorn. They still are atmospheric to this day. They make it more creepy and I love that. This whole challenge feels creepy. It's good. Trouble there it is. Creatures they are. If they touch you, they oh, will bite. It. So try to avoid them. Victor Semperor will stun them. Jesus, that is truly terrifying. Look at that thing. And down we go. Looks like a very happy Stitch. <laughs> yeah, good old Stitch. Lilo and Stitch. Don't know why Harry's face literally looks like an egg mayonnaise thing. It's got problems, man. Oh. That is literally egg mayonnaise sandwich right there. Right. Oh, hi Baron. Don't know where the things have gone, but hi Baron. <laughs> no. It is literally a boiled egg. Harry does look like a boiled egg. He is a boiled egg. <laughs> he has officially become a boiled egg with mayonnaise. Any chance of completion without debug? No. <laughs> it would be impossible to complete this right now without debug. It actually would be. It's not even a joke or an exaggeration. That's a fact. <laughs> we would not be able to complete it. I agree. Mayonnaise is not very nice. I'm not a big fan of it. But then again, I'm not a big fan of many things. Like, I like sauces and so on. Some things I don't mind, but there's an awful lot I don't like. Where'd that bean go? Oh, God knows. I do call you Haiti. Because you hate everything, you know? Typical, really. So typical. Oh. 
Okay, excellent. We ah! I didn't expect that mechanism to be gone. To be brutally honest, I did not expect that. <laughs> oh, balls. That was the one thing I certainly didn't expect was the mechanism to be gone. Oh, hello. <laughs> He's stuck behind the door now. <laughs> Just look at the state of this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> we'll get a proper close up in a minute. Don't worry. There you go. You can finally get a good look at Fat Thieves. Oh, hang on. There you go. There he is. There he is. You know what to do in the general chat. It's Fat Peeves time. It's Fatty Peeves. He looks beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I agree. As I say, I'm not a fan of many things, but... I'm not hating on them. I'm just saying I'm not a fan of them. See? Could get your words right. <laughs> right, I want to take a look at this um, disaster. Jesus Christ. Let's just go to the top and make our way down, shall we? Look at that. <laughs> Just look at it all. <laughs> Literally the whole game is just teleported here. This is fabulous. Look at that. That is absolutely mind-blowing. <laughs> Literally everything is here. You can get a proper zoom out of that. Look at the state of it. God, somebody needs to send that to one of the HP2 devs and be like, did you ever expect to see your game look like this? <laughs> Jeez, someone please send that to them. That is absolutely hysterical. Wow. Now, I'm going to be real with you, peeps. You're going to have a difficult time going anywhere. There's a lot going on up there. There's a lot to unpack a hell of a lot to unpack actually because like eh, the mechanisms are still moving <laughs> well done mr potter you've completed my scourge challenge uh... the remaining time now becomes your personal high score do you think you should buy pizza i mean yeah you can buy pizza why not <laughs> Everyone loves the pizza, right? The weekly ass point ceremony starting soon. Right, have we got any potion ingredients? Yes, we do. Actually, no, we'll do that later. Let's go this way. Well, I hit the first person mode by accident. Oh, well, you get some first person mode for a minute. Hello, <laughs> A fat one walking in. Let's see which house is ahead this week. Oh. It appears that Griffin Dwarf is... Yeah, easy. why not? Harry, it looks like you get to visit the bonus Mate, people. I've eaten a pizza at ungodly hours before. Perfectly normal, don't worry about it. <laughs> Hell, I've eaten Chinese before at like 5 or 6 a.m. 
Welcome to uni life back in the days. That was always great fun. <laughs> Just randomly eating food that I probably shouldn't be eating at certain times. It worked. <laughs> what can I say? It worked. Go! Come on, please, 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 please. Grab on the top bit. Go on, go on. Yeah, we did it. Ah. All right, you're mine. Although you're all going to bounce everywhere now, which is really annoying. <laughs> Because of the fat moves. No, I don't need a freaking camera shot. Not helpful. <laughs> beans, beans, lots of beans. Or as that woman says in the Deathly Allies Part 1 game Beans, beans, all the beans you can eat. <laughs> literally constantly hearing that. That is now ingrained in my head when it shouldn't be. Damn you, Defy Hellos Part 1. Damn you. <laughs> I don't think you lot realise just how painful it's been actually going back and playing that lately. It's not... It's not right, man. It's just not right. <laughs> anyway, that was fun. To investigate the scene of the crime. Filch usually guards the hallway where his cat was petrified, but he's away, so now is our chance. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Knew that Do was you coming. Really think those <laughs> shake as they're walking along. I believe Flitwick's story, even if he doesn't. And Dumbledore himself couldn't cure Mr. Norris. I think that what ebbed her might not be human. A flying Here we thick are at the flake, scene of the crime. It well, can't well, hurt well. to look around, since we're already here, and Filch isn't. Remember all the water that was on the floor? Where had it come from? From in there! From in there! Let's have a look! I can't go in there! That's a girl's bathroom! Oh, Ron, there won't be anyone in here. This is Moaning Myrtle's place. It shakes very frequently when she has a tantrum. She can't come to the toilets. <laughs> it's been out of order all year because she keeps having tantrums and flooding the place. Yeah, leftover Chinese is I always great. Great. <laughs> It's great. Who could Definitely want it. Slytherin be though? Who'd want to frighten all the non-magical folk out of Hogwarts? Draco Malfoy. Well, I mean, why you wouldn't you have a chili bean fetish? Good him? stuff. We'd need to sneak into the Slytherin common room. <laughs> Jesus, Malfoy that looks weird. Close up. Realizing it's us. <laughs> but that's impossible. All we need would be some Polyjuice potion. It transforms, transforms you into, into somebody, somebody else. else. Could change yeah, let's have a look at these peeves no, emerging. Oh, there they are. I'm very impressed by the general chat today, by the way, for this stream. There's a lot going on. A lot of memes being made, including Duck Malfoy. Uh, and loads of fat peeves emojis. I'm impressed. You're doing well today. You're doing well. Congrats. Mine looks like a predator. Oh, dear. <laughs> nah, the boys don't have a toy. What do you mean? Not in this game, they don't. <laughs> if you go up to what I assume was meant to be their toy, that it's just, I wonder why this door is locked. Oh, well, looks like I just have to hold in a P forevermore. <laughs> Literally. Right, now my least favourite level in the whole of this game. Let's go. It's not a bad level. It's just my least favourite. I certainly don't hate this level by any means. I just don't think it's that interesting compared to the rest of the game. I wonder if other people would agree with that. What do people think of this level? Well, you have to sneak into Snape's storeroom. Do you like this level or do you think it's just alright? Let me know. Let me know in the chat. Are you a fan of this level, or do you think it could have been much better? And do you think this is the weakest level in the game? Go on, chat. Show me what you're made of. Wee. 
No cutscenes. <gasps> the platform's gone. Okay, I have no choice. <laughs> Hey, fat pixie. Bit risky walking on these um, Lumos platforms, but I'm going to accept that they are solid. I probably shouldn't do that, but I'm going to. The snake got a weird way into his office. Yeah, he does a bit, doesn't he? Ooh. Nice and early, huh? Snape's got a funky office, what do you mean? you got to stand out these days, you know? If you don't stand out, where's it at? All these boring offices. It's just no fun, man. Oh, come on. Ah. I think I've seen what's just happened. I think the, uh, yeah, <laughs> okay, um, it's fine. <laughs> it's what debug mode is for. Just do that quick, and, um, this. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> how you can't reach that. Oi. Thank you. Do, do, do. Come on, come on, come close. Come on. Yeah, die, my friend. You're 20 years old and you're dying. That's how it feels. <laughs> Did I mean that it smells? I mean, it might smell. Oh my god, look at them, they face planted. <laughs> Actually, hang on, I want to try something here. I was really hoping that they would shut with them in them, but oh well. <laughs> I love the fact that they are face planted. I honestly love it. He was just climbing the wall. That oh, <laughs> you're right there, mate. That is one hell of a way to go. Yeah. Disco Inferno. <laughs> Literally. Turtles literally sat on their arse. Well, they sat on their heads to be exact, but yeah. See, Mr. Baldwin has returned. It's always a very exciting moment when Mr. Baldwin returns. There's usually a very big meaning to the Baldwin returning out of nowhere. Anyway, what did Baldwin say? I wonder if the fire crabs have a collision before me. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Good question. Maybe you should send that to a dev and ask them. <laughs> they might know the answer, you never know. <laughs> well, I mean, the programmer probably would know the answer. Right. Okay, let's try this one. Maybe this one. Maybe that one. Or not. 
All right, well, on the bright side, that's going to be a very easy puzzle. Very easy. On the downside, my camera is now zoomed in because unfortunately that happens with that puzzle. And there is nothing you can do about it. Anyway, peeves emojis should be going in the general chat right about now. Some fat peeves emojis because we have arrived at the moment where we get to see our lovely boy fat peeves again. Oh boy. I mean, we don't see him as much in this game as we did with Prisoner of Azkaban on PS2 where I kept getting the lost and found out him, so we saw him like every two minutes. <laughs> it's just like, it was absurd how often we saw him, so as a result, there's just endless peeves emojis. Absolutely endless. Wait, I can activate the puzzle still? I interesting. <laughs> I wonder if it actually counts as a physical thing. That's really weird. <laughs> that is so strange. I hate this field of view right now, but we're going to have to put up with it for the rest of this level. When we get out of this level, it will go back to that good field of view again. But for now, we're just going to have to live with this horrible field of view. Well, this is really easy. <laughs> Super easy to walk around right now. I like it. Who says that uh, I need to be the one just walking around testing the environment <laughs> when I can destroy it while playing fat moves? Well, I'm surprised that door didn't disappear. Makes a change. <laughs> one door has survived this puzzle. Only one. I wonder how Peeves was like when he was alive. He was a total lad. That's what he was like, a total lad. That makes the situation easy. Yeah. Oh yeah, I meant to read uh, some of the chat from here. Hang on. Uh, it gives you interesting. Also, Woodland said, I've always enjoyed it mostly from a visual standpoint. Love the different colours. Yeah, ectoplasm and eerie atmosphere. I do agree, actually, that from a visual standpoint, this level is really cool. From a gameplay standpoint, mm, not so much. But yes, I do agree with you, Woodland. And I got to your comment. Sorry, I missed it earlier. <laughs> but yes, I've got it. But yeah, the different coloured ectoplasm definitely makes this level visually. 100%. 100% agree. <sighs> but Peeb still looks human. Because he is a human. We all know him as a human. He ain't no poltergeist. He's a human. A top lad human. Good stuff. <laughs> oh, pff. didn't even need to do that. The bando! Oh, I've already affected the fire grab in here. Sorry, buddy. Kind of wish I hadn't activated the puzzle now. I wouldn't have broken the field of view. Oh, well. Oh, hello, Pixie. That is stuck on the thing. Love that. As you do. Whee! Anyway, um, Haz and Creative, I know you're both in the chat. Tell uh, Mr. Baldwin that I'm very proud of him. And I am proud of him. He's uh, he's taken a lot of abuse over the Deathly Hallows from lots of people now. And actually, he takes it like a real champ. I have to commend him. <laughs> I really do. He really takes the abuse like an absolute champ. So do congratulate him. He's done well. 
I respect that. You're a little simpler. It's reminding me of the prototype build. <laughs> that voice acting there. <laughs> it's just got a really bad voice, is that? Ritter Zempra Scooge. <laughs> it's just the most awful voice acting ever. But it does sound hilarious. <laughs> I, I do love Scourge though in that prototype build. It's fantastic. It's <laughs> just, it makes the whole experience. Scooge. There we go. You're getting a lot of praise right now, Mr. Baldwin. You've done well. You've done very well. And believe me, when you get praise from me, you are doing well. <laughs> I don't take the abuse seriously. Is that so? Well, I think you do. <laughs> oh god, are these going to be see-through? Oh, they're not. Whew. I had a moment there where I was like, hmm, debatable. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't take it seriously. I know. Also, I do have to say that <laughs> Luke absolutely aced his editing. I don't know if people saw this, but... Uh, <laughs> He basically edited my Time to Split the Speech Perfect stream where he took a moment from it. And if you look at my camera, if you look at my bed covers, he literally changed my bed covers. And they still, you know, they still look like bed covers. He changed them to Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. <laughs> Same with the pillow and everything. It was absolutely fantastic. One of the most hilarious things I've ever seen. Honestly, that was some good editing. I like it when people make memes of me and things. It's always good fun. So whenever I see them, I always get quite excited. Because <laughs> they're all good fun, aren't they, really? At the end of the day, you know, a meme is a laugh, and that's the way you got to take it. I guess if you have no sense of humour, then you might not take it that way, but I do. I know you like making me at uh, memes. Memes? I was about to say peeves or something, but I said memes. Anyway, I know you like making memes. Uh, has you are very good at constantly posting lots of memes. Bought a pizza. Dun dun dun. Hello, fat snake. How are we doing? I have my eye on you, Potter. Don't you mean you have your nostrils on me? In the dungeons again. I wouldn't be surprised if you became hopelessly lost. Don't be poking around where you don't belong. <laughs> Sounds like a very weird STD. I have my <laughs> eye on you, Potter. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Snake can smell everything. That's what he does, man. I'm in what the he potion does. classroom. Better keep an eye out for Snake. Oh, dueling's going to be interesting, isn't it? Hi, Harry. Hi. I found some bicorn horn to add to the potion. Great. I'm still trying to find the location of the next ingredient, but I should have it tracked down soon. In the meantime, I'll go add this to the potion. They're starting a dueling club and the first meeting is today. That could be interesting. Come to the Great Hall if you want to learn how to duel. Yes, I mean, everyone needs to be playing their HP, you know, PC games. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Absolute classics, awesome games, loads of fun. And then after that, you could go and play Goblet of Fire and subject yourself to something that's nowhere near as good. 
put yourself through hell. You know you want to. I'm gripped by fear and I don't like it. You're gripped by fear? What are you? Can everyone see me? Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, I can Excellent. see your fat arm. <laughs> I started Dueling Club to train you to defend yourselves. Brilliant. Dueling Club meets every day in the antechamber just outside the Great Hall. In Wizard Dueling, the object of the exercise is to incapacitate your opponent. There are three spells you may use in Dueling. Rick to Sempra, which knocks your opponent back and reduces stamina. Mimble Wimble, which prevents your that opponent face from of the Raven Claw casting girl. their next spell. Expelliarmus, which reflects spells back onto your opponent. To select a spell, <laughs> scroll through them by using the space bar or the right mouse button. To cast a selected spell on your opponent, <laughs> press the left mouse button. You Percy. may build up the strength of Richter Semper and Mimble Wimble by holding the <laughs> like left mouse button down. He is a demented the penguin. 100% the demented penguin. Duels are prohibited. A pledge of Bertie uh. Bot's every flavoured beans is required to duel. The victor wins the opponent's beans. To challenge the hell self of order of the Felix. <laughs> simply walk Brilliant. up to them. If you have enough beans, you will be invited to duel. My assistant, Professor Snape, I am your colleague, not your assistant, <laughs> has informed Done. me that he knows a tiny bit about dueling Get and wrecked. has graciously agreed to monitor the duels. And now for a brief demonstration, Mr. Potter, if you'd like to partner up with Mr. Weasley, I don't think so. Time to split up the dream team, I think. <laughs> Mr. Malfoy, come over here. How can you hate their faces? See what you can <laughs> How can you hate the Malfoy duck? Thrashing, you will be a treat, Potter. It's fabulous. Very well, Looks then. like a crow. One's at the ready. When I count to three. Uh. Scared, Potter. You wish. Oh. One, I'll take you on, duck, two, any day. Three. Today, Potter, you will have the pleasure of dueling the great Slytherin house. Expelliarmus! Yeah, you did you, Potter. Nimble Wimble. Expelliarmus! Well, that was quick. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Didn't take too long. That was a very quick fight. <laughs> We've got the caveman clubs here, literally. Seven Sophia. Sophia. Oh my god, look at how thick that snake is. Leave <laughs> alone. It looks like a worm. What was that? Did Harry just <laughs> hit? Looks like one of those oh. Harry bow worms. That couldn't have been. It couldn't be. It is definitely Not a him. Harry bow worm. That is a Harry bow worm. A hundred percent Harry bow worm. Oh. You're a parcel mouth, Harry. Nope. You can talk to Snake. Why does it matter? It matters, Harry. Oh, Jesus, that's a bit too Snape. close. Yeah. What Salazar Slytherin was famous for. A very oh, mouldy no. sausage. Exactly. Now the whole school's going to think you're his great, 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 great grandson or something. But I'm not. Anyway, we'll see you later, Harry. Bye, Harry. <laughs> Just... A giant mouldy egg mayonnaise, like oh. That night, wondering, could he be a descendant of Salazar Slytherin? Snake looking cute. Nah, what are you on? A... <laughs> I won't be seeing you in herbology class. I'll be in Just walks in the middle of a conversation, as you do. I can't believe Hermione is skipping class. Well, we better get outside to herbology, Harry. Come, Come on. on. Oh, I overtook Ron. Uh, does it feel wrong? You know what? I'll give you a head start. Woo! Oh, Ron, you broke the door again. Oh, you heard back from Greg. Okay, I actually want to read this. I want to see what he said. Heard back from Greg about Hagrid's heart. He believes some story slash cutscene stuff were supposed to happen. Yeah, that sounds about right. 
I mean, we do have the cutscene with Lucius Malfoy and Dumbledore, and I wonder if that was actually meant to happen inside of Hagrid's hut originally, and they just ran out of time, so they didn't do it in there, and just did it outside. That's very interesting, though. It's always nice to hear back from Greg regarding that. It's always nice that we have Greg, though, on Twitter to talk to. I really should ask Greg some questions at some point, to be fair. Always good to have some devs. Right. We're going to bring him in. No, Greg's on Discord, is he? I assume you message him on Twitter, though, don't you? Or do you message him on Discord? Anyway, let's go in. No! No, the gnome! <laughs> no! For those of you who have forgotten, I am Professor Sprout. Let's dig right in, shall we? He messages him on Discord. Okay. Defendo, the severing charm. Harry Potter, would you like to plant your feet in front of class and be the Jesus. first to learn the spell? I'd be glad to, Professor Sprout. Taking a leaf from Hermione's book, aren't you? Jesus Christ, the stamping is so loud. <laughs> anyway, the gnome now, is just Mr. trapped Potter, outside please now. Please fix your gaze on the symbol in front of you. See the pointer? It's about to move its way around the shape. When the pointer passes directly over the arrow, press the corresponding arrow key. This exercise is in three parts. In each part, you must be accurate in order to progress. Ready, Ready to, to try. try. Round, Round one, one. Go. go. Get off. Get off. <laughs> That's what I'm expecting to hear in the background. Well um. done, Harry. You've moved on to the next level of the lesson. Five points to Gryffindor. Yeah, you're Round damn two. right. Let's do go. it. Do, 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 You know what? Let's do something a little different. Hang on. Wait for it. Wait for it. And... Round three. Go. We're going to try it like this. There's the gnome. Right. Now, this is going to be interesting. I need to do it so I can at least see the arrows. Because I don't remember them all off by heart. I will be honest. I wish the greenhouse wasn't white. <laughs> it makes it annoying. Okay, right. We'll have to do it from here, I guess. Oh my god, this is difficult. <laughs> Jesus. Keep trying. Keep going. No. <laughs> You're really blossoming as a wizard once again. No! <laughs> so close! All right, Mr. Potter. Oh, come on! I think you've done enough for today. I only missed one. <laughs> you have learned Defindo. One. Harry. We've planted a seed of oh, greatness here today. That's annoying. Now let's Just move on to the Defindo challenge. Damn it! I'm so annoyed. I missed one arrow. <laughs> that well. Welcome, Harry Potter, to my Defindo challenge. To complete the challenge, you must find the completion star, which can be found in a hallway just above you. No, you're not meant to push them in B. You're just meant to push them when they Try go over. Oh, the can. one goes over if them. the challenge timer reaches zero before you have the completion star, I see that Baldwin has officially sent me a challenge. message on the Discord. Connecting challenge stars will boost your timer and so on. Okay, thank you for letting me know that, Mr. Baldwin. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. The higher your score is when you complete the challenge, the more house points I will award you. It's always handy to have access to a uh, dev to talk to. Especially as you can ask a lot of questions. <laughs> Obviously, you don't want to plague them, but yes, you can ask questions.
<laughs> you always push them in. Oh my god, look at the size of the hole. <laughs> you always push them into the beat. Well, there you go. Do do do. I actually love this song. This is probably one of my most favourite songs that Soul ever did on the games. I love a lot of his music in general and on these games. But yeah, have to. Oh, <laughs> I have to. Anyway, I have to say that he absolutely nailed this song. It's just so calming but so amazing at the same time. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> just interesting. Oh, Christ, hello. <laughs> Calm yourself. It's always nice listening to the song in Prisoner of Azkaban. Oh man, it's nice when you... Okay, well that was interesting. Anyway, it's always nice when you see it in Prisoner of Azkaban. This is already becoming a right state, so I'm looking forward to coming back here later. Defindo looks like a reverse for Pindo. Um... Semi oh, the thing is broken, Brill. Really, say it looks that much like one. Can give off a cloud of <laughs> Look at that happy gnome. Avoid them, or use Defindo to cut their stems. All of a sudden, tree. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> Right, well that purple bean is a goner. <laughs> Thank you, Noon. I appreciate your uh, efforts. Now I will get rid of you. Oh, man. All these beans are going to go flying. Yep, they're going to go flying. This is going to be great fun. What? Fat Peeves coming up. <laughs> and there he is. Peeves emojis. It's time for the Peeves emojis. Get your emojis ready. Lots of Peeves. <laughs> Fat beeps to be exact, but lots of fat beeps. Alright. Let's go. Okay. I am looking forward to seeing the end of this challenge though, where we get to see every object that is teleported to a random area. I'm thoroughly looking forward to it. <laughs> I don't know if we got that bean or not, but whatever. Might as well do that, or not. I was not expecting that to happen. But there we are. There we are. There we are indeed. <laughs> Peeves is the god of beans. <laughs> 
When peeved, when peeved, not peeves, peeved. <laughs> yes, that happens where he won't be fat immediately. That's just what meant to happen, really. Oh, God, do I trust this? You better not fall apart. I mean it. <laughs> Look at the size of that rope. Oh, that was a good cutscene. <laughs> Yoink. Hello, frog. We need you in the fat world. The fat world of HP. Alright, nice. Progress, progress. Deep in the <clears throat> oh god, please don't. Okay, good. <laughs> I was worried for a minute that that would break that, but it didn't, luckily. <laughs> Gotta go and peeve some potatoes. Leave your say so. This is for. <laughs> we do love ourselves a good bit of debug. It's always handy. Pixie, literally a demented stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Um, please don't tell me he's dead. Okay, he's not dead. <laughs> he's fine. Somehow, he is fine. I don't really know how he is fine, but he is fine. <laughs> bit difficult getting past that without breaking any of them, so uh, yeah, eat away at those ones, I guess, no use. That's all you're going to get. got my massive Godzilla stomp. <laughs> Shouldn't be a problem. Ah. Go! Off them blueberries. Yeah. Really? I'm amazed that managed to hit me. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at the bow chuckles. <laughs> that is the stuff of nightmares right there. Whoosh pop. Yep, yeah, damn right. It is a whoosh pop. That is right, Gavin. More fat Harry Potter mode. Welcome to the stream, by the way. It is indeed more fat Harry Potter. I mean, to be honest, it's just not really a celebration of a 20-year-old game if you don't play it while it's in fat mode. How else would you celebrate it? <laughs> Why on earth would you play it normally when you can play it with everyone being overweight? <laughs> Severely overweight, I might add. <laughs> But yeah, welcome to the stream, Gavin. Oh no, the thing's vanished, so I'm gonna have to do that. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah, look at me go. Take it. No, there is no fat Aragog because he already is fat. He is classified as a fat actor. <laughs> He's the reason we have all the stomping in the first place in this game when we're in fat mode. Because whenever he stomps, he makes these sounds. <laughs> Didn't they haven't actually done much spell casting in this run. Like, at all. I've just been basically stomping everywhere. That's a new one. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, come on. Are you serious? Just out of reach? Alright, we'll do this then. Here it is, the pointless Loomis Gargoyle that did nothing. Hey, that's another one for you, Baldwin. Should I ask Greg what that um, gargoyle there in the Defindo challenge is supposed to do? Find out what it does. Because right now, we don't know. <laughs> well, other than the fact that it does nothing, but it would be nice to know what it actually was meant to do. It has to be said. Can't imagine it was just used just as a light path. I mean, maybe it was, but I very much doubt it. But yeah, I know that Baldwin's very good at asking Greg these questions. So, it seems like Greg probably has all the answers we need. <laughs> Don't need any other answers. Where's the other beam gone? Where is it? I think it's up there somewhere. Am I going to watch Phil's stream coming up on the Saturday? Yeah, I'll tune in for a little bit of it. I won't be able to stay for the whole thing, but I will tune in for a bit of it, yes. I will be there. But yeah, I mean, Phil's also doing a charity run with his, which is another big reason to go and buy and support it. Oh god, what the hell is that all about? 
Okay, I already know what I'm about to see. A lot of really weird things I shouldn't see. Huh? Jesus. This looks like a mess. This is a mess. Not looks like a mess. This is a mess. What the hell am I looking at? Huh? Jesus Christ. Look at the state of it. <laughs> oh, that's fabulous. Good lord. I think we need to get a better look at this. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, that is great. That is literally perfection right there. There you go. You can get a nice screenshot of absolute hell. Right there. That is absolute hell. <laughs> What's even better is the fact that it is actually all moving. I mean, look. You can see that all the mechanisms moving back and forward. That's great. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. I like that. I enjoyed that. That is good. That's very good. <laughs> Minecraft on crack. Yeah, why well, can't I cast the... Oh, he's stuck under one of the objects outside. That's why. <laughs> uh, oh, good. <laughs> Looks like some 20th <laughs> century art. Yeah, I mean, it could well be that. <laughs> oh, that dramatic gate thing that's meant to open that doesn't exist anymore. That <laughs> posted a picture. Fab. <laughs> We've got a disaster piece of just all of the crazy crap. That spawned into one area of the level. Oh dear. Whee. The angry bird's gone insane. I have to say, it is always quite an experience playing this in fat mode and seeing all this happen. It, it does make your day, because it just looks stupid. And that's the fabulous part about it. It's just so broken that it makes it fabulously fun to look at. Right, before we pick up that star... Oh, jeez. I want to stand in the corner and look at this. <laughs> Just look at that. We've literally got things going up and down. You've got things going from left to right. I wish I could see what it looked like under the map. That's kind of annoying. Oh well. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> That's certainly something. Right, where's the way out? There it is. Well done, Mr. Potter. You have completed my Defindo challenge. The remaining time now becomes your personal high score. Can this level be saved? No. You can't save something this mad. Yeah, I, I think we could safely say that we've broken this quite a bit today so far. <laughs> uh, I'm ready, Ron. Let's do this. Harry, Hermione told me that you can find the shredded boomslang skin out in the greenhouse. Follow me, Harry. <laughs> Looks like a dyslexic nightmare. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, 
Hello, Nomi boy. I see you've already done a lot of eating. Very helpful. What was the white box under the level? That was the sky box. That's basically what you see all around the map all the time. It's one of the most important bits. <laughs> yeah, that was the sky box. Added a voice picture mod. <laughs> yeah. What I could do one day. Actually, that's kind of tempting. I might do that. That would be hilarious. I'm pretty tempted to do that now, actually. And we could do that with multiple HP games as well, by the way, not just this one. Is play the very first original Metal Gear Solid game from um, like GOG. And what happens to PCs a lot of the time in that game is if you quit the game, it still keeps the sound effect of the Metal Gear Solid thing there. So it's got that, like, I think it's 8 bit or whatever sound effect to it. And uh, yeah, you can then listen to like YouTube and stuff with this 8 bit stuff. So I might do that with Harry Potter at some point. We could do that with all the games. That would be hilarious. That would be so much fun. <laughs> You just get an 8 bit sounding like Philosopher Stone or something with like Professor Quill. She's like a robot quill. That would actually be fabulous. I, I want to do that. <laughs> that would definitely be one of the most random entertaining streams ever, to be honest, I reckon. It would certainly be something, that's for sure. We've got to do that. Yes, the soundtrack is incredible, I agree. I definitely agree, Gavin. I don't know really what I would prefer. I think they'd all be good in their own right. <laughs> Hello, Nomi. We're going for a little trip over to Ron. The greenhouse is right inside that door, Harry. I'll watch out for Professor Sprout. Good luck. Cheers from Poland. No worries, Merrick. No worries at all. That gnome looks so weird. <laughs> we're going into the chat. Okay, we're trying to go into the chat. I wonder if I could throw him in there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> He's coming with me. Ooh. It's a big fat no. It, it is a big fat no, yeah. <laughs> you definitely could complete this game without debug. In this right now, no chance. No, my beans. <laughs> No, my bean. Then give me back my bean. Get it out of the flower pot. <laughs> Oi, it's my bean. <laughs> you will come back to me. Go on. Yeah, we did it. We saved the bean. All that for one bean. <laughs> just the amount of effort I go just to get a bean. <laughs> Worth it.
How fast would I run away? I wouldn't. I'd would walk up to him and be like, can I have your autograph? <laughs> You're an absolute lad that's just done me so many favours. <laughs> oh look, there's the note. Yeah, he made it. Cool. Go on, Gnome. Go on. Do you mind, Venomous Tentacular? He's trying to eat the chocolate frog. The gnome's like, I've been bounced around so much, I need some help. <laughs> Please. Anyway, you're coming with me, buddy. Go in here for the minute. Yeah, no, I wouldn't run away. I would want an autograph. 100% would want an autograph. Alright, with me. You're coming with me. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> bring me back my name. Go! Eat them. Eat away, my friend. Where are they? Please get up, Gnome. You're supposed to be eating them. Wanna watch Spiky Boys? Nah, why would I watch Spiky Boys when I can just let them spike away? There's a lot of peeves emojis in the Discord, and it's it's kind of uh, inspiring, really. It's actually inspiring. <laughs> also, <laughs> definition of chaos, yeah, damn right. Anyway, I don't think this gnome's getting up, so we're just going to do that. Actually, I'll come back for you, gnome. I have a plan for you. My original plan didn't work out, but that's all right. There it is, a mini spider, but fat but <laughs> Look at it. Can't this even see the eyes. Particularly nasty variety of spider. That's Their great. Their bites are extremely poisonous, so stay away and cast Rictus Sempra to stun them. It's a good question. I'm not sure how long it will go on, to be honest, Bajor. I'm really not sure. I guess until my body decides it doesn't want to take any more is the best way of putting it. But at the moment, it's still going. Die! Oh, that was nice. It's always nice when you click your spine. Just feels a bit, you know, more human after doing it. If I ever played Roblox, nah. I've seen enough of Roblox in my time, but no, I haven't played it. Tickle me? You what now? <laughs> what, my spine clicking will tickle me with it? <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> oh, hang on. Bean, come back, come back. Damn it. Oh well, well that's the end of that bean. <laughs> right. Uh, 
turning off to bed, eh? Well, that's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? Deary me, creative. Unfortunate. Anyway, before creative runs off, uh, Plex will come by the stream anyway, creative, as always. Uh, I did want to mention that I will be doing a stream on Saturday, which I'll talk about more later, but I will be doing it with creative. He will be present for that. So, uh, yeah, you'll be able to hear his voice as well in that one. Anyway, yeah, I will talk about that later on. Not right now. I love it when this glitch is in here. It just looks great. It looks so stupid. Right, before we do this, i just seen that the whole roof has vanished. Right, where's the gnome gone? Oh, there he is. Yeah, the, the whole of the roof has just vanished. Literally just vanished. <laughs> and the floor. No. Alright, no, we're doing this together. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Get in there! Hey, Hermione! I found a bunch of shredded boom slang skin for the polyjuice potion. That's great, Harry! I'll go add it to the potion right now. Yeah, Harry can defeat anyone by just jumping. That's right, Gavin. <laughs> the weekly ass point ceremony is starting soon. You remember where you remember it is, where don't, it you? Is, don't you? I'm like, how can you ever forget? Which house is ahead this week? Oh, it appears that Gryffindor is in the lead. Mm. Harry, it looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. Hmm. Do you ever get tired of visiting bonus bean rooms? I do. Way too much sugar. It's just a sugar mayhem, you know. Oh, I can't reach that. Sugar, sugar. Don't run away from me, sugar. I need you. Come back to me, sugar. <laughs> How dare you leave me. All this sugar everywhere. Can't get over the voice acting in this version, why not? It's great voice acting. Proper stuff right there. Proper stuff. Much better than the Deathly Hallows voice acting, I might add. Much better. <laughs> You know, I feel sorry for anyone that grew up with the Deathly Hallows games. Imagine actually growing up with the Deathly Hallows games. Just imagine what that would have been like. Imagine, you know, the first time ever getting a Harry Potter game and you're like, oh, it's my first ever Harry Potter game ever, this will be super awesome. And then it's the Deathly Hallows Part 1. Just imagine that disappointment on the anyone's face. <laughs> just literally, how? How would you deal with that? In the second week of December, Professor McGonagall collected the names of those who would be staying at school over Christmas. Harry, Ron and Hermione signed up. They heard that Malfoy was staying, which struck them as very suspicious. The Christmas holiday would be the perfect time to use the Polyjuice potion mm. and try to worm a confession out of Draco. I ought to head up to Moaning Myrtle's bathroom and see how the Polyjuice potion is coming on. I hope Hermione doesn't need any more ingredients. Anyway, 
anyway. It's nice and quiet, that. Right, now this is going to be interesting, what I'm going to try and achieve here. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it or not, but I will try. I will try my best with this. This might work, this might completely and utterly fail. Right. You... I don't know if this is going to work, I will try. If I can make this work, that would be fabulous. I'll take one. Just so we have a safe game. Just to be on the safe side. Oh my god, what the hell have I done? <laughs> what have I done to the gnome? Oh my days. What have I done to this gnome? <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> right, well that was certainly something. <laughs> I've no idea what I just did to that gnome. That was fabulous. Right, now this is not going to be easy, but I will try my best. I don't want to lose the gnome, is the problem. Oh, this is going to be so hard, though. I need to do it while the stairs are like... Mm, this is not easy, man. Unless... I wonder if I could do it like this. So if we make those stairs move, but stay on these stairs, should we do that? Yeah, go on. Stay on these stairs and enter the cutscene. Oh no! Not another attack, <laughs> Mr. Potter. <laughs> what's happened to you? I don't know. I found him like this. <laughs> Follow me, E. Potter. Fabulous. <laughs> well, that was certainly something. <laughs> I swear I didn't. Oh, God. It is, is out of your hands. It's not even in the gnome's hands at this point. It's out of everyone's hands. Nope. I forgot about this. Through this door, please, Potter. <laughs> there is no door there. <laughs> there isn't a door. <laughs> oh, the gnome! <laughs> Hello, gnome. I wasn't expecting to see you again so soon. Oh, God. <laughs> Killed Minerva. I did kill Minerva, didn't I? <laughs> oh, that was fun. That was way too much fun. Oh, bloody hell. Your first Harry Potter game is Half Blood Prince for the Wii. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> What's the matter, Harry? Nothing. Dumbledore's office will never be quite the same again, will it? There you go, Forks. Have a gnome. No, no, oh, he's twerking that in the cutscene. Sick. It burst into flames. It's from the twerking from the gnome. Oh no, the stairs have just vanished. Are you serious? What a cutscene right there. What an incredible cutscene. I'm watching Potter. Always watching. The famous Mike Wazowski thing. You haven't submitted your paperwork again. I'm always watching you. Always watching. Right, now, how am I going to do this? 
walk without stairs. Actually, this should help. Yes, <laughs> this is great. <laughs> I'm glad the stairs aren't here. Now, where's the gnome gone? Oh, he's there. He's, he's still having a good time. <laughs> old school sword the hat's have. just I like a blob. You've been wondering whether I put you in the right house. Yes, you were particularly difficult to place, but I stand by what I said before. You would have done well in Slytherin. Oh my gosh! The <laughs> Coddle looks like the slug woman, and she does stay for Monsters Inc. Yeah. Good evening, Harry. Oh, hang on. I want to do something. <laughs> That's just a gnome. <laughs> Alright, I want to. Uh, actually, is Ron outside yet? Nah. But I do want to try something. Let's try this. Let's see what he does. Professor, your bird. I couldn't do anything. <laughs> he just caught fire. <laughs> Fox. Nope. <laughs> There's a gnome there, by the way, down the door. Just so you know. When it is time for them to die, <laughs> they are reborn from their ashes. And the gnome's like, why is this fireplace not lit? Phoenixes. They can carry immensely heavy loads. It's working in front of the headmaster, I see. And they make highly That's what he's doing. Pets. Professor, I just want you to know that it wasn't me. I'm not the attacker. I know I you're not, not, but I still but want I to still talk want to you to talk about to you. destroying my entire I office. You, Harry, <laughs> whether there is anything you'd like to tell me. Being able to talk to snakes was what Salazar Slytherin was famous for. Anything at, at all. all? No, I didn't destroy no. your staircase, Professor. It isn't anything, Professor. <laughs> Very well, if you're, if you're sure. sure. I won't Good charge night, you for it. Night, Professor. <laughs> There's a gnome. Oh, let's <laughs> see you later, Harry. There you are. You need to go to Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. Hermione's waiting uh. for you. <laughs> Right, well, I can technically speaking go into Dumbledore's office whenever I like now, so that's quite cool. Anyway, I'm off. Follow me, Harry. Oh, you ruined my stumping. Come to me. I must eat you. Eat. Yummy, yum, yum. Yum. Must eat food. Ronald Weasley food. <laughs> Quick stomping. I wish people would stop interrupting my peace and quiet. I do have. <laughs> Why am I in this picture? Yeah, literally. Even if I am dead. She's very, She's very touchy, touchy, isn't she? What's that horrible stink, Hermione? That will be the Polyjuice potion. Now, we need one more ingredient for the potion to be completely effective. We're going to need a bit of goil to complete the potion. That's disgusting! But how oh, do I God. find goil? There's, time, there's an Among Us <laughs> Malfoy. Jesus. All you need to do is follow the That's horrifying. Get the bit of goil and it back here to me. <laughs> Only ever so slightly. Uh, thanks, Ron. Oh, look at those pieces of meat right there. That's what I like. Extra chunky. Uh, hello, fat goil. How are we doing? Do you reckon he can see me? <laughs> Actually, I wonder what happens if I kill him. Right. Let's find out. There's goil. I'd better follow him. <laughs> There's goil's ashes. <laughs> Oh dear. Sorry, Harry, that was my arm tip. Jeez. Careful now, Bubble. We don't want YouTube to ban your comments now, do you? <laughs> Oh, 
Lebende. Where'd the wizard car go? <laughs> I'm a rebel. You are a rebel. I agree. I 100% agree with that, Bubble. You are a rebel. You're the biggest rebel. Oh, for God's sake. Anyway, you're the biggest rebel ever. <laughs> when it comes down to the YouTube comment section. I think we're just going to do this, because at this point I'm convinced that all of these are going to vanish. <laughs> Considering all the others did earlier. There we are. Right. <laughs> Worth it. Did somebody say just beans? Yes, they did. Oh my god, even the platform's gone. Can I make this? Yes, I can. Makes Harry look like the Flash. <laughs> Might as well be the Flash in this game. Do him a favour. Defender. You know, I wish my chimney looked like this. It would be so much better. Nice and browny red and cool looking and everything like that and as we don't freaking well have a block anymore we're just gonna do this <laughs> there we are <laughs> best way of doing it do, 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 do. Gonna be mad if they don't make spell challenges in Hogwarts Legacy. Why would you be mad at that, Bubble? You won't lose anything. Also, I'd like to add that they are 100% probably not going to be doing that. So I think you'll be very unlikely to see that. They're more likely gonna do stuff like Order of the Phoenix, where you just have little classes to go to, and that's that. I wouldn't expect spell challenges if I were you. I think those days are long gone. Which is a shame, because I really enjoyed them. <laughs> that room has no full damage. You're damn right it doesn't. Yeah, again, I wouldn't expect spell challenges. It's very unlikely that you'll be seeing that. <laughs> I think it'd be good to see them. I think it'd be awesome to see spell challenges, definitely, but I wouldn't expect them. Okay, I didn't actually mean to do that, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> People ought to be bitten harshly. What did you say, say? Face palm snail right there. Chocolate frogs, you are mine. There we go. Anyway. <laughs> Hmm. 
maybe they like being bitten. Um, not sure about that. Somehow, not sure about that. Hi, Noob. That's it, this way, mate, this way, this way, and boom! That's how we do it in DJ Hero World right there. You get the famous boom beat. The soup is very good, the snail is fire, I like it. Okay, I actually can't be bothered to go and get all the beams. Normally I would, but today I'm being lazy. I'm not getting them. <laughs> I have my limits of care. <laughs> that is pushed them. That's a very unfortunate save game book for that pixie. It'll be forever more dying in that spot. <laughs> This top drop for a hole. Love it. What's the purpose of this part of Hogwarts? Just to have a nice view for Slytherins who, you know, are locked up in a dungeon that's actually underneath <laughs> Hogwarts, i.e., in a freaking giant ass ocean. Or lake, really, but yeah. Lucky them. Here it is, the secret that most people never know about, and everyone keeps forgetting. There it is. It is pretty well hidden, this one, to be fair. I give them credit. Gold. <laughs> Alright, might as well do the blue one first, then. <laughs> Just like decided, nope. <laughs> I don't want to be eaten. I have rights. But then it realised that it was going to get eaten anyway. Oi. You don't want to see chunky spiders, well you've already seen them if you were here earlier. And peeps emojis! Peeves emojis, peeves emojis, fatty peeves.
Mr. Bean, very good fly, very good. Very good indeed. Welcome to lazy me. <laughs> this level is a good level, by the way. I don't hate it. I'm just being lazy on it today. It was a very poor joke. <laughs> There's no denying it. Oh, there we go. What's well, my favourite level in the whole game? Probably the Aragog bit, to be honest. It is pretty damn awesome, that. I love the Aragog bit. He's stuck anyway, so... He's already pointless. No. Hey. What are my feelings about Hogwarts Legacy? Um, well, so far I think what they've showcased is promising in the graphics department. But I'm a bit more than graphics. I want to see a bit more action than just graphics. <laughs> My biggest concern for it overall is the fact that it's got this huge open world and everything. But is it just going to be an empty open world for the most part? Is there going to be a lot of empty space? I think that's my biggest concern for that game overall, is that it's just a massive game that will have a lot of really nice looking environments, but nothing really to do in a lot of them. That's my concern for Hogwarts Legacy. I've seen so many open world games that do that, <laughs> I don't want to keep constantly seeing it. I would rather you actually in the end did a smaller world and you know, properly got something that actually has a lot to it than a massive, extremely over the top open world that has nothing in it. So yeah, that's my feelings towards that bit. As for the story, I have to say so far they seem to be desperate not to show a lot for it. That could mean two things. That could mean that they are trying to save it, which would be nice if they are, and I hope that is the reason. Or it could mean that there's not much of it, which uh, would be very unfortunate if that's the case. Hopefully it isn't. You uh, sympathise with me being sceptical just because of the fact that many modern day games do these things now where they really hype up a lot of things and then in the end it really wasn't that awesome for the hype. It's becoming a very common trend now. But we'll see. We will see. I need to take the bit of Goyle back to Hermione and Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. <laughs> like Fallout 76, oh god. <laughs> Is that even a game when it came out? There's just an empty graphics land, that's all it was. Honestly, the thing is about that sort of thing is it feels like in the end it's just a walking simulator, but if I was going to play a walking simulator, I'd go and play a walking simulator. It's just as simple as it is. You know, I don't actually hold anything against walking simulator. Oh, look, the gnome's still here. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I don't hold anything against the walking simulator games when they're actually advertised as walking simulator games, you know, that's fine. 
But when you get games that aren't actually advertised as, you know, walking sim games and are really trying to get you into this more action adventure or RPG style thing and then there's literally nothing there. Yeah. It doesn't quite hit the same. Yeah, hello Angus, welcome to the stream, nice to see you. Welcome to Fat HP. And the 20 years birthday of HP2, but Fat HP. Alright, this is the bit with Goyle. We've all been waiting for it. <laughs> I've got the bit of Goyle. Well done, mate. As he stomps in. I've got the bit of Goyle. <laughs> Shonka, indeed, fatty. There you go. <laughs> it's massive. Rather you than me. <laughs> Myrtle's crying in the background, like, no, Thanks. not again. <laughs> that hey. looks great in fat mode. Oh my god. <laughs> that is disgusting. Can't even see the hand. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> Mindy's face. Are you okay, uh, Harry? Yeah, he's fine. Look at him. Yeah, <laughs> I'm fine. Go down to the dungeons and see if you can get into the common room. Okay. Good luck, uh, Harry. Oh, my days. The voice acting for Goyle and Crab in the PS1 version. <laughs> it's fabulous. <laughs> It's so bad, but it's so funny at the same time. It's like a gem that you could never, ever possibly not love. <laughs> it is hilarious. Oh, dear. Yeah, I agree, actually, Bubble. It is interesting that they're not doing Quidditch in Hogwarts Legacy at all. That's a very, very bold and actually, in my opinion, dangerous move, to be honest. It's really dangerous not doing Quidditch because it's like one of the most loved parts of Harry Potter. So, yeah, <laughs> kind of have to question that one a little bit. Why not? <laughs> Lovely Goyle ASR, though. <gasps> nope. <laughs> well, there you go. Every single Spongify tile is now active. Save it, I suppose. I want to see something actually. So, there, I was outside the wall, like facing outside the wall when I went to this. And now, if I stay in the map, what happens? It is that. <laughs> That's actually correct. They can finally, uh, tell the devs that were on Nixo's video stream there that the whole theory of the HUD for the potion stuff being outside of the wall when you go out to the cauldron and it not accepting the ingredients is actually a thing. That is correct. But then if you're inside the map it works. That is a correct theory. That's amazing. That's actually incredible. <laughs> Huge, huge thing to just randomly see happen. Now, I want to see if we can do this. I did a video on this years ago, but I'll speed it up just to make it quicker. But let's see if we can do it. So we're going to put the speed up to like ridiculous levels and we're just going to let the students come in and out and do their own thing. And we'll see what happens. Because hopefully what will happen is there will be so many of them and they'll all get stuck. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Get ready, we're about to see something very weird happen. You'll like this. I'll have to leave at some point because else the game will just become so slow. <laughs> just wait for it. It's going to get quite crowded, you'll see.
It's getting more crowded. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Bubble. I do agree when it's all there and it's just strange you don't have it. Ah, here we go. It's beginning. There we are. I'm going to have to stop this at some point soon or else uh, it, it is literally going to get so laggy it will become unplayable. <laughs> this is getting, uh, it's getting taxing. It is a student overflow. Portsmouth on Saturday morning. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I did a video showing this yonks ago on the channel. It was kind of hilarious, really. Oh god, it's starting to get slow. No <laughs> time traps live here. <laughs> Literally. Right, we'll keep going a little bit longer, but soon we are definitely going to have to stop. <laughs> <laughs> This is great. I always love doing this. Uh. New York rush hour. Yeah. Alright. I think we'll stop. How laggy is that? Actually, it's not too... Oh! I forgot that happens when you're in speed mode. Jesus. Okay. Uh, let's stop. Right, here we go. So, you'll see that there are a lot of students. Oh, we can make them all fat as well, of course. There we go. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> I love all the bouncing up and down ones. A little rave, you know, a proper rave going on. Yeah. Staying here over Christmas will let me catch up on my sleep. <laughs> Will it? What, with the best of this thing going on? I'm not non-magical born, but... I'm still afraid of the air. Sorry, no time to talk. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong, actually, with the no time to talk one for once. Right, let's go for a bounce, shall we? Bloody hell. So here we go, we got some more over there. Uh, oh, there's more coming down. <laughs> Wait, can you see them all in the mirror? <laughs> there we are. Oh, that's fabulous. Look at them all. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at the state of them. <laughs> I wish the castle was always this crowded. Yeah, definitely. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, boy. That is terrifying what Goyle looks like. Look at the state of that. Look at it. <laughs> it's horrifying. Okay, right. Let's uh let's carry on bouncing. Another attack. What about the bounce attack? Does that count? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> That's not gonna work that tactic, I'm afraid. I'm through. God, look at that. You know what? I reckon we could add a few more into that. We'll do it in a minute. I want to quickly take a look around here. I want to see if there are loads stuck up here as well. Yep. <laughs> I thought that might happen. How are we looking? There's a couple stuck there. Okay. I think we can go a bit further. But what I am going to do, just to make sure the game doesn't crash, is stand here. Okay, right. Here we go. Alright. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Who's gonna be jump attack next? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> the bastard is about to have a good meal. Yeah, literally. It's going to have a great meal. <laughs> it doesn't need pipes. It can just go out in the broad daylight. It's not like anyone would stop it. Jeez, here we go. Look at the look at the normal-sized students mixing with all these fat ones. It's great. They're all like, I would love to go to the bean bonus room, but I would also quite like to go to sleep. <laughs> And they all get stuck in the corner. They just get stuck on one another when they're walking past. Of course, they're not meant to walk this quick, right? So, yeah. <laughs> Explain this pot more. <laughs> yes, it's, uh, it's got some fair explaining to do. I can just imagine Argus Filch coming along right now, going back to block more school property. I said, move along. Shh. <laughs> literally, no one can move. If you want to remain at Hogwarts, you better move out that bloody way. <laughs> JK Rowling has some explaining to do. Yeah. Miss coughing tape. <laughs> In prison of Azkaban. Oh god, yeah. This is gonna get very crowded soon. We're gonna keep going. As you can see, the grand staircase has officially now become so stuck that they can't walk backwards on themselves anymore. Oh my days. This is gonna get quite. Oh, yeah, you guys can't see half of it, can you? Because of my camera. There you go. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> student! Student in the corridor! Student in the corridor! What you want to know? <laughs> Silence! Please do not panic. Now, prefects will block all students in the Great Hall. <laughs> Teachers will follow me to the block staircase. <laughs> Literally. Uh. <laughs> God, imagine if the Battle of Hogwarts went like this. None of the defeaters would have got anywhere. We'd be stuck at the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> it's like, I can't get through this lot. What do I do? <laughs> right, how's it going to feel trying to move in this right now? <gasps> oh, boy. <laughs> Interesting to say <laughs> Oh man, the frame rate. This is amazing. I love this. Without I wish I need to get out of this. <laughs> Oh, I'm out. <laughs> what petrified of this? Whoa! I forgot I've got super speed on. Hang on a minute. I need to turn that down. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god. Look at it. <laughs> Look at the state of that. Oh my. Now that. That is something right there. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> Not enough spawn more. I can actually spawn more. <sighs> Jesus, look at the state of it. There's this one guy like, 
I just want to go to the bean bonus room. Meanwhile, outside... <laughs> Jesus Christ. I wonder how we're getting on over here. <laughs> it's just still having a great time in the corner. <laughs> they couldn't keep up with everyone else. Alright. We'll, we'll spawn a few more. Why not? Why not? Actually, are they in the dungeons now? <laughs> Probably. Are they in here? Any in here? Nah. <laughs> oh god, the frame rate. <laughs> Just looking at them as a disaster. Meanwhile, this lot over here, we're just like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Alright. We'll spawn a few more. Ooh. Oh, that frame rate. <laughs> Look at them all bouncy up and down. <laughs> Alright, let's go. We'll get a couple more in. And then we'll stop. <laughs> what I will do because it'll be wise, is get the sword out. <laughs> I think we're going to need it. <laughs> Looks like a fun rave. <laughs> what entering the chocolate frogs factory looks like. <laughs> oh dear. I hope someone screenshotted this. I really hope so. Oh my god, this is actually getting quite lucky now. <laughs> oh my days, look at the frame rate. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> it's barely running. Jeez, this is getting almost to the point of being unplayable soon. <laughs> Alright, let's go and have a chat with some of them, shall we? Oh, sorry, no Sorry, I'm not in your Yes. That will crash my game. I'm not doing that. Sorry, no time to talk. I beg your pardon. I get plenty of chocolate first time. Who knows when the air of Slytherin will strike again? Oh, it actually stopped. Anyway, There's something different about you, Goyle. This is it. So me. cruel and stupid. Who knows <laughs> when the air of Slytherin will strike again? Anyway, you can actually turn I all of these students, if you wanted way, to, so all into peeves or the basilisk or like Aragog or something. Maybe in the I'll future I'll do that. I'm certainly not doing that right now. It will literally crash the game. You don't look It's you, Goyle. Anyway, I uh, I need to get out of this. <laughs> right, we're gonna have to do this the only way we can. Hang on. First of all, this is what it looks like. Holy crap! That is an absolute jam. Look at the state of it. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna just um, start getting rid of them, shall we? Alright, here we go. Let's get rid of a few. There's gonna be a lot of smoke in a minute. I'm gonna clean up Hogwarts the only way you can. They're all like, oh my god, I can finally move. <laughs> oh god, I can't see anything though. I wonder how the attacker gets around Hogwarts without being seen. <laughs> like this. <laughs> Where a Draco crab? I have no idea. Have you seen the amount of smoke? <laughs> I 
Oh my god, I think the smoke actually despawned. <laughs> A million peeps, yep, a million peeps. Also, welcome to the stream, Niels. You joined at a very peculiar time. <laughs> Embrace the chaos. All oh, that one student just walked straight into death. Right, I really can't see. Oh, look, they're all coming through in a. <laughs> In an orderly line. Right, well, the uh, the frame rate has semi improved. There's something different about you, Goyle. Jay Clayton ain't got nothing on all this garbage. Is that so? <laughs> well, by all means, share it with him. <laughs> I'm sure he'd be very happy to see it. <laughs> if there's another attack, I'd like to go home. Well, good news, you're now dead. <laughs> Thanks to the sword. Oh my god. I don't know if I've even got rid of that many of them, to be really honest. Right, how are we doing over here? I'm not non-magical born, but I'm still afraid of the air. Oh, bloody hell, the, the smoke. <laughs> oh no, they've just they're crowded up over here now. Okay, how are we doing? I think that I'll have to do... It's... Oh my god. <laughs> the sound effects are just completely broken. <laughs> uh... <laughs> what mad Hagrid to walk in. My ears. <laughs> my absolute ears. Anyway, I think we've uh, done what needed to be done in order to sort out the situation that was caused there. Which was like a mass overdose. And I do mean a mass overdose of students. Do, 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 do. You know what? I think we're going to have a bit of fun. Wait, where's he gone? What? <laughs> the student isn't here. Oh my god, it's, it's lagging whenever I look up at the uh, smoky bit. <gasps> can I kill him? Maybe not, but I can do this. Oh my god, what the hell just happened? Pure blood. <laughs> so that's the password. I bet I can use that to Slytherin common room. Well, it worked. <laughs> it certainly worked. Oh, come on. There was so much smoke. <laughs> there was. You're not wrong. Okay, I'm going to have to do this. Actually, I'm not going to do that or else it won't work, probably. Ah. Good thing I have fat mode, <laughs> or else I wouldn't be able to do anything with just the sword. Right, anyway, enough of the student fun. <laughs> Harry, no. This is getting out of hand. Now there are many of them. We should never have made this bargain. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> why does Hogwarts allow that? Or why does Hogwarts allow so many students on the staircase? I mean, questions, 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 right? <laughs> <coughs> Huh? 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 
no one will ever have the answer. Ah! <laughs> Jesus Christ, that fell down a bit fast. Alright. Uh, yeah. The floor has literally just vanished. I kid you not, the floor has completely gone. <laughs> How the hell am I going to move forward? Right, you, mate, are coming with me. We're going to the silver and common room. That was easy. Oh, look at it! Wait, what? <laughs> I like Harry's rocket launcher. <laughs> yeah, it's good, isn't it? <laughs> Welcome to the stream, by the way. People props disappearing. It's quite a common thing, actually, in this game. I don't know if you are aware of it just yet. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, let's see what the gnome's like in the cuts. <laughs> Oh, he dropped the gnome again. Wait, where's the student? Uh, he's completely gone. Oh dear. Well, that's a bit of a pain. Ah. I I sense a soft lock. Um. Interesting. Uh, right now, um, how to sort out this situation? I guess there's only one real way to solve it, which is to reload the level. But first of all, before we do that, there you go, just for you lot. Okay. Ah, uh, bloody hell, where's the uh, slipper and common room or whatever it's called? What is it called on this? Uh, Sliver and common room, that's the one. There we are, everything's fixed. We're going to be debugging this level quite a bit, I feel. Oh, well, to be fair, we don't need all the beans, do we? So, Alright, let's just go to where we were. You know what, I, I don't trust him just yet, so I'm going to do this. Okay, I was going to do that. Give me a minute. <laughs> Okay, right. Now. I really don't trust that cutscene because this student is not there. This student is literally not there. I don't trust it. I don't know why he's not there though. Because look. Wait. The bridge isn't there either. <laughs> Everything's gone. <laughs> Everything has vanished. Literally everything has vanished. Oh god. <laughs> nice smile, eh? Yeah. That pixie does have a pretty decent smile. Just push one back in. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Who the hell would brush their teeth that many times a day? Are you mad? Your teeth wouldn't even be able to like exist at that point. Oh no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay, don't mind me a minute. <laughs> Just got to. Uh, Think this through. <laughs> okay, right. There's not even a point in doing this because there's no bridge. It literally doesn't exist. I think we'll just go through. Let's keep moving, shall we? There's <laughs> literally no bridge. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Oh well, at least the uh, way out is totally um, sorted. 
Hey Pixies. I do remember when we did Fat Stream last time, the Slytherin common room was a literal disaster. Oh, for God's sake, this isn't moving either. You see it? I can't do this if things don't work. I just don't think the Slytherin common room works too well with Fat Mode, if I'm honest. It barely functions. Literally, if I didn't have Debug Mode, it would be impossible to do it. Oh, there's no point. This isn't even going to be moving, is it? Interesting. No. So they're yeah, not moving. So, yeah. It, it literally would be impossible to get these. Right. Back up again. <laughs> If I could get a pixie to follow me. Wait, I can't even hit the boots that over again. I have an idea. Hang on a minute. I require something for this to work. It is a very important something. Hello, lads. I need one of you. With me. Oh, this should be fun. <laughs> Okay. You're coming with me into the sliver of gomma room, mate. Here we go. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> I like kidnapping gnomes in this. I'm literally a danger to all gnome species on the uh, face of Wizarding World planet. Don't need to fear the Death Eaters, you need to fear the Joker Alex. <laughs> Right, I'm going to take you and put you in here. And then we'll come back in a minute. Right. You stay right there, my friend. And I will return. <laughs> when the time is right. <laughs> Goyle did nearly die. Goyle always nearly dies. Look at that beauty right there. It's good stuff. <laughs> I thought it was 21. Nah. Well, to be exact, my name is Joker Alex 21, but you could call me Alex. Horrible <laughs> burn it. <laughs> That's not very nice. That spider has done nothing to you. No name is Joker, what do you mean? Every name is Joker. Nope. Well, there goes the bookcases and potentially my way out. Okay, well that's going to be fun to do. <laughs> nope, I am Haiti. Are you? Are you really Haiti? I thought you were a fake. I didn't think you were real the last time I saw you. You were fake. Oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, just fix the fountain. <laughs> As you do. I love the way there's this massive room down here as well. See that? There you go. All that for a piece of water. <laughs> this giant ass room just for a piece of water. It's good stuff. <laughs> That's the sewer. Nah. <laughs> Fab. Looking positive. Looking real positive. <laughs> I think we might just need to do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Anyway, I wonder how the gnome's getting on. Yeah, he looks like he's having a good time. I have an idea. I like my ideas. Off I go. <laughs> I have a good plan. We're going to make this cutscene with Malfoy, if it works, extra fun. <gasps> Hi guys. I've come to uh, take you to a much nicer looking area. Alright, here we go. Alright. There's another one, and we'll go and get one more. And then we have a party, man. We've got a literal party in the Sliver and Gomer room. It is going down. And it's going down in a fun way. Oh, where am I? There we go. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Who would want Goyle? I don't know. Who would want Goyle? Brilliant. Back to normal game speed. You don't look as hungry as usual, Goyle. Is that so? What with all these gnomes running around? You don't want us to call for Professor Snape, do you? In this cutscene, I would also bring a gnome into the cutscene. I mean, you have a fair point. You know what? You do have a fair point. Hang on. Alright. With me, buddy. Let's do this. Now, the question is, will Goyle actually hold on to the gnome? We'll find out. <laughs> there you are, Goyle. I've been looking all over for you. Come on, follow me. <laughs> okay, this cutscene is going to be great. You know, Goyle, I suppose Dumbledore's trying there to hush up all these attacks. He'll be sacked if they don't stop soon. But as for St. Potter, he's another one with no proper wizard feeling. And people think he's Slytherin's heir. I wish I knew who it is. I could help them. It's the gnome. You <laughs> must have some idea who's Amazing. behind it all. <laughs> you know I haven't, Goyle. How many times do I have to tell you? But I know one thing. Last time the Chamber of Secrets was opened, a mudblood girl died. So I bet it's a matter of time before one of them's killed this time. I hope it's Granger. Anyway, yes, yeah, true. Uh, You're right, Fedora. Go, <laughs> There's the gnome on the stairs. Going. going where? Uh, to the <laughs> hospital. It's amazing. Wing. Yes, that's it. The hospital wing. I've got a stomachache. <laughs> it looks normal. Not quite. I Nearly. need to get something for it. Go on then. I don't want you hanging around here all night with that pained expression on your face. Well, this should be interesting, looking at Harry turn into, uh, or Goyle turn into Harry in a minute. Let me go and get this chest quick and then we'll do that. With a gnome. Yep, with a gnome. <laughs> it's gotta be something, alright. It's gotta be something. <laughs> There's something different about you, Goyle. You don't look so cruel and stupid. Nah, he looks fat. <laughs> Let's see if we can get them to follow me. Come on, guys. Oh, pfft. All right, short-lived. <laughs> Amazing. I better try to keep my distance from the Slytherins and sneak out. If they spot me in here, who knows what might happen? Who knows what might happen? Not a lot. It's not like you'll be obvious waving a giant ass gnome around. Yeah, they probably would. I don't see why the imps wouldn't do that. I expect so, Cap. I expect so. What is he doing? 
<laughs> totally stealthy. Oh god, is there going to be a door at the end of this, or is it just going to be open? It's just going to be open. Okay, this... Oh, no. Uh, my sneaky... <laughs> sneaky spot is becoming quite dangerous, but I reckon I can make it. Although, I want to be caught now, because I'm holding a gnome. Yeah, c catch me. I want to see what happens. <laughs> Ah, Potter, I do believe expulsion is in order. I was just looking after the gnomes. <laughs> I need to get oh, out that of was here without it. any of the Slytherins seeing me. I enjoyed that. I could have survived it, but I wanted to see what it would look like with Snape. That was worth it. Alright. Oh. Back it up, back it up, reverse, reverse. <laughs> okay, now we can go forwards. <laughs> I love the way in this game, by the way, when you look at the dead spiders, they actually twitch as well. It looks cool. The news that nearly headless Nick had been petrified spread through the school like a dark cloud when everyone got back from the holiday. If a ghost can be petrified, it's cool how the spiders, when you reach the end of them no and they're upside down, their legs just the go. First years moved around the castle, you know, like twitch groups, from being stunned. They might be it's cool. attacked if they ventured out alone. Detail, right there. A Detail. furious trade in talismans, amulets, and other protective devices was sweeping the school. In the meantime, Harry had learned that Draco Malfoy was not the heir of Slytherin. <laughs> the gnome it was. Isn't Draco, and it isn't Harry. Who is it? The gnome. <laughs> Hurry, Harry. Not it's it'll be wonderful. Again. Professor Lockhart is going to teach us Spongify. Yeah, detail is very important in these things, you know. Very important. To be honest, they were really quick, actually, the students there. Really quick. never tried it in this room before. I'm gonna try it in this room. Hurry! We don't want to be late for Professor Lockhart's class. What do you mean, we? No <laughs> wait, that was something. <laughs> I actually want to try it in this room now. I don't know if it'll work in this room or not. I have my doubts, but we'll give it a go. Let's see if we can get more students in here. I feel like the answer is going to be no. I know you can get a ton of gnomes in here, but that's a lot of effort to do, and I can't be bothered. But yeah. <laughs> you clogged the corridor. Exactly. <laughs> ah, we're not going to get loads of students in this Hi, bit, are we? Would you consider a tray? Well, mucus, as you wish. Hi, would you consider a tray? Hi, hi, would you consider a tray? Hi, hi, would you consider a tray? Smile up in the air, it's like, would you consider a whoop? I love it, worth it. Hello, Hermione. <laughs> I've arrived. Oh, hang on. This is very difficult, but I reckon I could do it. If you'd just like to come out, Gnome, that would be really helpful. Hang on a minute. There we are. Alright, Gnome, would be. I'll take you on a little adventure. I think you're gonna like it. Why is everyone normal? We can't be having that. Welcome back to your favourite class, Gryffindor students. Uber. Please, hold your applause while we learn to spongify. Harry Potter, you look eager to soak up... Hi, hi, would you consider a trade? Class and we'll show them how it's done. Lucky me. 
There goes the gnome. <laughs> it's gonna learn Spongify, lucky Number. gnome. Concentrate on the symbol before you. And don't let my good looks distract you. The one that nah, what will distract me, mate, is, is going to Hi, hi. Would you consider a trade? Hi, hi. hi. Is positioned perfectly over the <laughs> That's Press what will concern me more. Arrow key to hit the target. There are three parts to this exercise. In each part, you must correctly and accurately I'm hit gonna do all something the fun. points in order to go forward. I might regret this, but I'm going to do something fun. Oh God, is it going to be... Round one, Hello. begin! Hello. Yes, yeah, that way. Right, okay. It's all backwards. I've got it though, I understand. Nice, I can figure it out. Try it again, chap! Oh, hang on, I wasn't ready, damn it. <laughs> Terrific! Keep up the fabulous spell work. Thanks, man. Alright, we'll do it again. Keep trying! At least we get to see the whole class this way. <laughs> well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next round. Who knows a real Five genius? To yeah. More. Round <laughs> two. Oh God. Begin. Certainly makes it a bit well more challenging. Done, Harry. You've advanced to the next round. <laughs> no, he might be learning. I think he is. Round three. <laughs> Begin. Making enough noise. <laughs> oh, come on. I hit that in time. Try it again, chap. <laughs> Terrific. Keep fabulous spell work. <laughs> Done. Great work, lad. You've completed all of the exercises. Fifteen points to Gryffindor. You've done it, Harry. <laughs> Ten points to Joker. You <laughs> have mastered Spongify. That's not what you expect to see so at the front of the classroom. you can take the Spongify challenge. <laughs> That's great. Oh, that looks fabulous. I love that. Welcome, Harry Potter, to the Spongify <laughs> challenge. To complete the challenge, uh, you must complete the star, which can be found several floors. Oh, hey, what? <laughs> I got a minute. Get as quickly as you can. If the challenge timer reaches zero before you have the completion start, I've only just gotten the level, the damn it, and there's already the stuff in the middle of the room. Stars. Stars <laughs> I've just got score. in the damn I level. I recommend you try to find all of them. <laughs> oh, try dear. to get the completion star with as many seconds remaining. <laughs> this is going to be an impossible challenge. The higher your score is when you complete the challenge, the more house points I will award you. Do I prefer the drawing? Yeah, I do prefer the drawing. I think it's more fun. More challenging. I didn't. I didn't Spongy prefer it at all when, uh, you know, you had to do it with those mice you with the balls in them. But with modern day mice, yeah, I definitely prefer it. It's just more fun, more challenging, more interesting. Look for this symbol on the ground to find hidden Spongify pads. It's not even a challenge. All I have to do is look down that little corridor there, and all I can see is two massive, like pendulums going back and forth. I already know this is going to be an utter disaster and I've not even like literally I didn't even take a step pretty much in actual game time in the level that's how incredible this is <laughs> right well this gnome's stuck so we're gonna do this Just look at it. it. Makes the imp even more terrifying when there's a giant pendulum in front of him. Oh my god, pretty. Oh yeah, more life. It was fun if the spells were accelerated. What, you mean me turning up the speed? Yeah, I mean, I could have done that, to be fair, but oh well. Yeah, we're in for a treat. Okay. <laughs> Imp 
Orcs are vicious little creatures. Like gnomes, you use flipendo to knock them back. Then you can pick them up and throw them into a hole to get rid of them. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think the imp is my biggest concern. I think my biggest concern is this giant ass pendulum that has just killed the imp. The imp is literally dead. <laughs> it just died from this pendulum. Uh, uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is terrifying. Please come out of there, gnome. I beg of you. Yeah, come on. This way, mate. Try and not get destroyed by this giant ass pendulum, whatever you do. Hmm. Now, that's a bit of a problem, right? That, that <laughs> that's gonna kill me if I go on that. I know it is, because it kills you in general. What the hell is that doing in there? <laughs> What's going on? What is this? <laughs> the thing's in here. <laughs> well, that's fabulous. <laughs> oh my god, it's so hard just to get one bloody bean. The problem is I can't even cast Alahamora on that to open it. I actually can't. I can't even do a stamp to open this thing. This thing has literally broken the entire level. <laughs> it's completely destroyed it. Okay. Well... We're in for a good time. Alright. <laughs> that room is only going to get worse as we go along. You do all realise that. When we get to the end of this challenge, that room is going to be an utter, utter disaster. The platform isn't even here. <laughs> it's, everything is missing. <laughs> I hope Hogwarts Legacy is like this, where it's unplayable unless you need debug mode. <laughs> really looking forward to it. You sick of he came into a dog yet, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. We're in for a treat today, John. This challenge is already screwed. And it was screwed as soon as I walked in the front door. <laughs> so yeah, we're in for a real treat today. The bit that I'm really hoping will happen again, and John will remember this from before, is on the Aragog bit. On the way to Aragog, there's a tree that you knock down <laughs> in order to go down to the lower level. I am desperately praying that it does that weird glitch where it just flung me up in the air and everything again. That was hysterical when that happened before. I really hope it does that. <laughs> that was so good. I really want to see that happen again. I'm surprised the platform's actually still there. I'm kind of impressed. Ah, uh, has remembers as well, but there you go. I really hope it happens again, honestly. That was so funny. <laughs> it was just the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. They better do it this time. <coughs> Lipendo! I'm here, fire crabs. You think you could take me down? I'm fat Harry Potter. No one takes fat Harry Potter down. Not even me. The game does it instead by just making everything not spawn. <laughs> that tree was fabulous, man. That, that probably will go down as the best moment of that previous stream for fat mode. That was just incredible. I really enjoyed that. Oh, one of the things is missing for God's sake. <laughs> Alright, well, debug mode it is. I'll make it seem slightly like it was legit. There you go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, wee. Uh, through the portrait. <laughs> Nimbus 2000 music, yeah. Oh, I already hit the portrait by doing the jumping. 
<laughs> Not much in the way of a queue. Not if you're in this level. <laughs> Can't get anywhere in the first place. Oh, what a kill. Whee! Hell yeah! Ooh. Now that was some parkour climbing skills to the point where the bloody thing's broken! <laughs> This better go back down on the floor. Okay, it did good. Thank God for that. Wait, what? Alahamora? What do you mean, Alahamora? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure my brain can handle some of this sometimes. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> There's too much going on. Oh, we just made that. Very nice. Oi. There you go. <clears throat> right, well, it's only get. Well, at least I went through that, but yeah, it's only getting worse. this room. Oh, I remember this room from last time. It didn't go well. <laughs> That's all I have to say. It didn't go well. <laughs> gonna have to go through it. Yeah, you're definitely gonna have to go through it. Please kill the pixie. Kill. Hedwig, please help me, man. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this castle was cursed. This is twentieth birthday, and it's cursed. <laughs> Wait, what? I can still cast in the cutscene. Interesting. I saw a meme earlier, as you do realise the entirety of the stream is a meme. <laughs> it hits you the whole thing is a meme. All of it. Oh, hang on a minute, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Chill, chill. Thank you. The secret that no one knows about, pretty much. There we go, here it is. This is such a well hidden secret, this one. I have to give the devs some serious credit. They aced this. Aced this secret. It's freaking incredible, man. They really did do a good job of that secret. That is well hidden, man. Well hidden. Not yet. It's disappearing axe then. <laughs> Literally. ONG? What's an ONG? 
trying to sing that song, what's it called, by Duck Sauce. NRG or whatever they called it. It is called NRG, isn't it? NRG. <laughs> God, I remember that song back in the days. NRG. Electricity. Right. Get your peeves emojis ready. He is about to come out of a box. And there he is. Peeves emojis, peeves emojis, peeves emojis. Fatty peeves, fatty peeves. Oh my god. I have fat peeves. Excuse me a minute. <laughs> Fatty Beeves has gone. It was nice while he was about. Oh, for God's sake, the, the thing's vanished. <laughs> On the bright side, at least I know I don't have any pendulum to deal with because it's already in the, well, the main hall. <laughs> I saw it at the very start of the level. <laughs> nice try, spider. But you failed. Now you suffer the consequences. Yeah, look at this. Going nuts with the secrets. Right. We'll take a look at the hallway in a minute, don't worry. All in good time. Okay, let's go and have a look at that hallway. Well, at least the chandelier is fine. <laughs> Jesus. Alright. <laughs> Just so many platforms. So much crap. It's everywhere. There's <laughs> literally something everywhere. My god, look at the state of it. I think we need a picture of this. Hang on, I'll try and get the best angle. There we are. I think that's probably the best angle. I think we need a picture of that. You know what to do. Screenshot time. <laughs> Magic picture. <laughs> Once someone's grabbed a screenshot of that, let me know and we'll carry on. <laughs> I'm sure Haz is already on it. <laughs> Everything's either gone or cluttered in one room. No, correction, everything is cluttered in one room and never was anywhere else half of the time. Done it, nice, brilliant, all right. I hope you did the uh, stuff for Scourge earlier as well. Actually, I think you did do Scourge. What was the other one? Uh, there was another level, I can't, oh my God. <laughs> Look at the state of it. <laughs> that is glitching because there is another one in there going back and forth. Oh, I can still cast Spongify though, don't worry. We can, we can still Spongify. <laughs> this is just. This is not a disaster. Oh my god, does it go back here? Yep. <laughs> yes, it does. Oh my god, it's in the skybox. <laughs> it's actually in the skybox. Oh Christ. <laughs> Hang on, uh, where do we see that? It, oh, we don't see that anywhere though, do we? There is no spot like that in this level for the skybox. They just have it for the lighting and that's all... Oh, that's a bit depressing. I was going to look around outside in the sky and we could have seen some really weird crap. But nope, we ain't going to see it. That's a bit... Yeah, that's disappointing. Where is the room full of crazy crap? I've already lost it. 
That was so weird. Right, anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't cast with Bender at this. I wanted to, but I can't. I just love the pendulum going back and forth. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's, it's really something, this. Anyway, I think we should go and get the challenge star. Don't you? Well done, Harry. You've completed my Spongify challenge. The remaining time now becomes your personal high score. Yeah, if it wasn't for debug, mate, that the devs left in, I wouldn't have been able to complete your challenge. <laughs> well, the rest of the students are still stuck on the staircase, Has I don't think they need to worry about the challenge. Harry, the weekly house point ceremony is about to start. You don't want to miss it. <laughs> I'm suspecting model slept. A huge nightmare monster of props emerged from the darkness. <laughs> Literally. Oh, God. That was a good one, that. That was a good one. I like that. <gasps> no! Don't go in the room. Oh, has she gone in the room? I just came up with an idea. Please don't go in the room. Oh, please don't go in the room. Please don't go in the room. Oh, I think Boris is trying to come in. One minute, I'll let him in, and then we'll uh, take what while while we're waiting. Let's do this quick. Hang on, hang on. Right, I'm gonna let the cat in. We're gonna get as many students as possible before we go for the beam bonus room. Quite nice standing up, you know. I'm just gonna get all the students to spawn in, and um, yeah, then we'll we'll carry on. Let me just uh, whoa, god. Um, let's just try and do this as sensibly as I can. It is, this is difficult. Um, let's do this. All right, there we go. Right, let's leave them to uh, do what they're going to do for a bit. I'm going to mini stretch my legs quick. Hopefully the students will spawn, although they seem to be doing a very good job of not existing right now. So hopefully they'll spawn. Well, while they're potentially spawning, I'm going to eat a chocolate bar and read the chat. To be honest with you, Has, you say a majority of them are dead. I think they're all dead. I mean, look at this right there. There's not a single student in sight. Where are they all? No, oh, the night's gone. <laughs> Didn't even notice that. Where are they all? Hmm. That's really weird. <laughs> I actually can't find any. I saw them walking down the stairs earlier as well. Huh. Well, that was very strange. Okay. Wait, the houseboy ceremony it is. Hello, everyone. Looks like it's time for another house point ceremony. Let's You're off to bed then, lad. You're going to miss out on some classic Forbidden Forest stuff. Oh, it appears that Griffin Dwarf is in the lead. Harry, it looks like you get to visit the bonus beam room. So Wisp. That's what Chuck got a meeting. <clears throat> I'm 
managed to execute that perfectly multiple times now. I'm quite impressed. Yes, I do eventually need to eat something. We have literally been streaming for five hours. And I haven't eaten a thing. Oh yeah. A wisp chocolate bar it is. And as we have literally no time to be in bonus room because of me pissing about in the challenge, it is what it is. <clears throat> I think we should do this bit with speed. Oh, uh, hey, we might actually get some stuff. <gasps> Perfect, I've so got an idea. <laughs> Usually everyone knows whenever I have an idea it's a bad thing, but I have an idea. <laughs> Which is good, you are right. Now, providing the students do what I want here, I do have an idea. And it's going to make the cutscene that more enjoyable. And they are spawning in more. I think we're on for a winner right now. Hey, I think we got a winner. Sorry for everyone that's having like spasm issues because of the camera. It's part of the um, part of the experience, really. <laughs> it won't last forever. Come on, students, spawn a bit faster, please. Come on. Come on. Come on. Lock yourselves in. Come on. Ah, there we go. If I do this, that should get rid of the shaking for a bit. Okay, right. Now. The plan here, in case you hadn't already figured it out, is we're going to get as many students as physically possible to block the way if they will cooperate, and then we're going to do the cutscene with Rom, which will then mean that we will get Rom coming and going, something has happened to Moni Myrtle, while all Harry is getting is, I'm afraid to be Fletcher, hi, well, yeah, what are you doing here, in here? no time to talk, <laughs> and that would be it for like the whole cutscene, but it would be great fun. But these students are refusing to block one another. Why are you refusing? Come on, block one another, damn it. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. It, it did work. All credit. It did work. And now they are officially starting to block. Right, anyway. <laughs> yeah, it did work. The idea did work. A bit faster than I imagined it, but it, it did work. Right. Let's do the Tom Riddle's diary bit. Oh yeah, we've got all the gnomes as well, haven't we? So that should be fun. Ah, oh, man. It is quite an experience, isn't it? something at you yes they did it's over there careful my dad told me some books can be very dangerous it looks like an old diary belonged to tm riddle whoever he was he didn't write in it it's completely blank it's the order of the phoenix before it became the order of the phoenix hello Harry it's massive Potter. 
My name is Tom Riddle. Yes, look at that screenshot. Fabulous. I'm at Hogwarts and horrible stuff's been happening. <laughs> Do you know about the Chamber of Secrets? Love it. Of course I know about the Chamber of Secrets. In my fifth year, the chamber was opened and the monster killed a girl. I caught the person who'd opened the chamber and he was expelled. I can show you, if you like. I can take you inside my memory of the night I caught him. Dun dun dun! Let's go. Harry was entranced by Looks the like memory of the night I caught him. No, no, no. You don't want to be talking on, about that. I've gotta get you out of here. Come on now. In the box. It's all right. Come it's on. all right. There you no earthquakes. It's fine. Evening, Bayas. What are you doing down here, Tom? It's all right. I don't think you meant to kill anyone, but monsters don't make good pets. <laughs> it never killed no one. Come on. The least Hogwarts can do is make sure the thing that killed that girl is slaughtered. It wasn't him. He wouldn't. He never. Stand aside. Stand aside. Oh my god. No! <laughs> Look at the size of him. That is fantastic. That is nice, man. Harry had always known that Hagrid had <clears throat> an unfortunate liking for large, monstrous creatures. Yeah. But he was equally certain that Hagrid would never mean to kill anybody. Riddle might have got the wrong person. Maybe some other monster was attacking people. How many monsters to think this place can hold? We always knew Hagrid was expelled. And the attacks must have stopped then. Otherwise, Riddle wouldn't have got his award. Riddle's diary! It's gone! What? But only a Gryffindor could have stolen it. Nobody else knows our password. Exactly. I just heard it again. Didn't you? I didn't hear anything. Harry, I think I've just understood Jeez. something. I've got to go to the library. <laughs> that looks so I've ridiculous. Got to we have to stay in here unless uh, we're in class. And I've got to talk to Hagrid. If he set the monster loose last time, he knows how to get inside the Chamber of Secrets. Hagrid's hut is out in the grounds, Harry. But you know that. Follow Come me, me Harry. Harry. Let's go. What did you miss? Um, not too much, actually. You just missed Tom Riddle and a giant midget Aragog. <laughs> That's about it, really, actually. I don't think you missed much else. Did I get basically everything except for those beans? Which I will just quickly grab. Did I get everything else? I think I did. Yeah. Can have a look at these three nice and fat there he is. Look at that. That is what you call putting too much 50 sun cream on your freaking nose. Anyway, there he is. And there he is. <laughs> the ultra friendly teddy bear. Oh boy. Anyway. <laughs> I think I did get everything else. Pretty sure I did. A couple of beans here quick. Too much bleach, indeed. What clicks? I do use too much bleach. You know what? I'm going to do this cutscene without Ron. I think it would be quite amusing. Yeah, it's great. Let's do it without Ron. Let's see what happens. I just saw someone who looks very much like Lucius Malfoy coming into Hagrid's heart. I wonder if Ron will just run into the cutscene. Um, that is a good question. At the moment, I believe what has happened is this managed to soft lock it. 
Oh, no, no, there he is. Yeah, I thought he might run into the cutscene. Yeah, he did. Bad business, Hagrid. A very bad business indeed. Things have gone far enough. As chairman of the school governors, I've simply got to act and send, send you away. Away? Away, away to where? Not the wizard prison. Not Azkaban. I'm afraid so. <laughs> he just sounds so normal when he says but that. All twelve of the governors feel it's time for you to step aside. Face. As of this moment, you are suspended as headmaster of Hogwarts. If the governors want my removal, Lucius, I shall, of course, step aside. No. no. However, you will find that I will only truly have left this school when none here are loyal to me. <laughs> You will also find I don't know. that help will always <laughs> be good given question, to, it's a good question. to those who ask for it. It literally looks like he's got a butterfly for his mouth. Of course, if anyone wanted to find out some stuff, all they'd have to do was <laughs> follow the spiders. God, what a camera angle. <laughs> that would lead him, right? That's the key to the whole thing. And that's all I'm saying. Come along oh, now, Hagrid. All right, right I'm, I'm coming. coming. We're in trouble now. I'm Dumbledore needs new glasses. Be an attack a day with him gone. Literally, yeah. Uh... Look over there. Looks like they're heading for the Forbidden Forest. <laughs> no, nope, the earthquake's starting. Pigs, you know, they have pretty good meals to be fair to them. Go on then. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they do look a little bit like that. I kind of have to actually agree with you on that one, Lego. They do definitely look a bit like that. This ledge is too high to climb. I'll give you a leg up, Harry. You'd have to brave the Forbidden Forest alone. We are mouldy jacket potatoes, that's true. A lot of things are mouldy jacket Good potatoes, luck, though. That's nothing out of the ordinary. Blech. Hello, Ron. Having a bit of trouble getting over that one log, are we? I'll give you a leg up when their overweight problems really start to show. <laughs> oh! That was very close. That is, that is truly fabulous. <laughs> oh, I like that. Oh, that was good. <laughs> it was so unexpected. It was so unexpected. I knew, like, when he fell down there, I was like, oh god, he's gonna die. But he didn't die. <laughs> Something far more special just happened. Oh, that was fabulous. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, jeez. Oh, I can't do it again like that anymore. Oop. I can't nearly kill myself though trying to do this. Come on, surely we can make it work. Nah. That was a one-off. 
<laughs> was pretty damn incredible. <laughs> Honestly, that was actually truly incredible. I hope somebody clipped that. <laughs> That's it, uh, clipping that. That <laughs> should be clipped. 100%. Oh, that should 100% be clipped. That was fantastic. Ow. Do you mind? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, I think it's going to be hard to uh, beat that. Other than the tree. <laughs> that was... That was something else. It's the fact that you didn't expect it. You thought you were honestly just going to die there. And then... Boom. <laughs> that happens. That was brilliant. Seven part meme. Bloody hell. <laughs> Seven parts is pretty incredible. <laughs> but yeah, that was uh, that was something different. <laughs> Makes a change. I'm literally finding all the different parts of the Order of the Phoenix collecting save game books. It's madness. Oh no, I lost a bean. I've lost another bean. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure my face probably was like that to be brutally honest. My mind was like that really. <laughs> Climactic. <laughs> right, I think that gets the job done. Got that happens. Uh. 
Eat. Eat away. <laughs> yeah, literally, it is just jump. Jump is the way forward. If you jump, you're sorted, man. You don't die. There's a lot of memes that have been created out of this stream today. A lot of memes. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to see Aragog. I hate to disappoint you already. Aragog looks no different. He's the only creature in the game that looks no different. <laughs> the hell happened there? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now this is gonna be fun. Oh no, not yet. This is too early. Oh, <laughs> there it goes. This log is cursed, and I love it. It's so funny. Hang on. down normally for a minute, but that won't last long. I know it won't last long. <laughs> Harry started levitating. Yeah, literally. Drop was gone without me. <laughs> Come back. I need you. Hang on a minute. Oh! Huh. Wow. <laughs> right. yeah. Steady does it. Steady. No! <laughs> this is so hard. How did I manage to do it the first time? not going to go down, is it? It's actually not going to go down this time. So if you missed it last time, basically... <laughs> I had no idea this log was going to do this, what it's just done and I showed you, but... Basically, I went all the way down normally, like you saw earlier, but then when I got near that chest to unlock it, I briefly jumped at that chest in order to open up the barricade bit. And last time in the stream, this log flung me up miles up in the air, and I had literally no idea what was going on. And it was truly incredible. We make it. But yeah, anyway, there you go. <laughs> That's the glitch log. Not quite as fun as it was last time, but still pretty good. Right, there we go. Aragog time. Aragog, a human is here. This game is so goofy, it is indeed Fedora, it is indeed. There you go, see Aragog looks no different. Is it Hagrid? No. I'm a friend of Hagrid. I came to help him. Why does Hagrid need help? Some say that Hagrid released a monster long ago in Hogwarts. It killed someone and it must have come back. It was me he released. But he sent me away. I've never gone back. And I've never heard anyone in Hogwarts. So you're not the guardian of the Chamber of Secrets? No. The Guardian is an ancient creature 
that spiders fear above all others. It kill a girl in the bathroom, not I. Sure, it Thank wasn't your lock. You, I think I should go now. Was very good no, at kidding, Harry. Won't. I cannot deny my children such fresh meat. Goodbye, friend of Hagrid. Gotta love the casual Richard's Empress symbol just if drawn on the bottom of them. <laughs> the Findo, I bet Aragorn will fall into the pit. Bite, Bite him, my children. Bite him, my children. Right, here we go. Here it is, the final fight. The most important bit. I still love this boss fight. It's so much fun. I've just got a Defindo spell thing on it. Oh. See you later, mate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bit early. Oh, he just came back up again. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, I just got a Defindo spell there. At least I learned Can you actually cast Defindo on the things that he spits out at you? I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> That's a new thing for me to learn after 20 oh, years. Work, Harry. 20 bloody years, and I've only and just look, seen that. I found that car. But Hermione is being attacked. She's been petrified like the others. Oh no! We should get back as soon as possible. Climb in! I wonder if the hospital wing has been repaired yet after my, um. Well, this violent outburst. Or do I kill Ron? Hmm. Temptation is real. Oh, go on, I'll let you live for now. I was tempted though. Tell you what I will do before we begin. We've got to spice this up a little bit. Got to improve this hospital wing. It's not looking good enough, is it, Rob? Too many beds for my liking. We'll also grab a gnome as well. Okay, I think we're pretty good. Right, the room is covered in smoke just the way I like it. Now we just gotta go and grab the gnome. Hello gnome. Alright, this is looking good. Might as well grab these just for the sake of being here. Look at this crazy spot gnome. Pretty cool, isn't it? And now, the ultimate moment we've all been waiting for. Oop. It is. Look at a cutscene in a ridiculous way. Let's, um. Can I. So I can pull out the sword, but can I keep the sword semi with. Okay, well this could improve the cutscene, actually, to be fair. I think it semi works. Ah, we'll not see. Let Madame Pomfrey see you. Oh. There's Hermione. What's that she's holding? <laughs> it's a note. In her handwriting. Here's what it says. <laughs> Ron's not all surprised. Of the beasts <laughs> and yeah, it's normal. Our land, there is none more deadly than the basilisk. The king of serpents. This snake, which may reach gigantic size and live hundreds of years, 
is born from a chicken's egg, hatched beneath a toad. Aside from its deadly and venomous <laughs> fangs, the basilisk has a horrible <laughs> stare. Just and a massive hole in the floor. The beam of its eye shall suffer instant it's like death. dementors are in the Spiders room. Spiders flee from the basilisk, for it is their mortal enemy. The basilisk flees <clears> only from the crowing of the rooster, which is fatal to it. But how's the basilisk been getting around the place? A giant snake! Someone would have seen! Pipes, Ron! It's been using the It's gonna walk it. Oh. I've been hearing that voice inside the I thought the he was walls. gonna walk in it. That girl who died. There's some beams for you, Harry. said she was found in a bathroom. Please walk what down the hall. What if she never hole. left the bathroom? Please do. What if she's still there? Please walk you down the hall. <laughs> moaning myrtle. The entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. What if it's in <laughs> moaning, moaning myrtle's bathroom? bathroom. All bit out of sync there. To their house dormitories at once. <coughs> All teachers return to the staff room immediately, please. Oh no! Not another attack! Come on, please run down the hole, please. Oh, my desire yes, for them to jump down the hole didn't work. Another attack. Oh, the writing's the gone already. Here. This time, <laughs> someone had disappeared. It was Ginny Weasley, and another message was left on a wall. It said, her skeletal lie in the chamber forever. Hogwarts it's a pretty broken torch there. <laughs> Do I have a favourite... Uh, Professor Lockhart has <laughs> been given the task... <laughs> favourite Harry Potter movie. Um, Ron and Harry were beside themselves. I mean, yes. But at the same time, I do quite like a few Hurry, of them Harry. at the top. We have to save Ginny. But I think, to be to honest, Chamber is still going to remain my favourite movie out of the bunch. I really like Chamber of Secrets. Prisoner of Azkaban is and definitely up there, though. I like it Prisoner. Would surprise me if he was trying to sneak out of Hogwarts. Both of them are very good. It's hard to choose really between the two. Which one do I think is better? I think Chamber just strikes it for me. Mainly because I like its darker tone and story a bit more. It's just got that edge. The wall said nothing, yeah. And a new message has been spooled on the wall. Nothing is written here. Hogwarts will surely close now. <laughs> Yeah. Tell you what. It's like being in a Metallica concert. It's like Enter the Sandman or Ride the Lightning or something. And Myrtle's kind of in the middle of the open there. What do you want this time? To ask you how you died. You're the first one who ever asked. I died. Something you didn't know you needed. Everyone I needs that. So well. The door was locked, and I was crying. What a camera angle! Because Olive Bonby had teased me about my glasses. Then I heard somebody come in. They said something odd in a different language. I think it was a boy speaking. So I unlocked the door to tell him to go said and use something his different, own bathroom, said, and then I died. <laughs> Where was this boy standing? <laughs> Over there by the sinks. One of them has never worked, not never, as long as I've been here. <laughs> I wonder if there you that go. The That's what all the gnomes were singing. <laughs> Open. <laughs> Open! Oh, there's the gnome. That's not working. Maybe if I try parcel tongue. Open. That's got it. <laughs> I sink. <think>. Nope. Oh. <laughs> 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 
There's <laughs> no him floating in the freaking hallway. What's that? I think it's the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. Well, then you <coughs> won't be needing me. Is he just going to walk down the hall? Go warm up my broom. Who's this You're day? not through yet. Down you go. No. Come on, Harry. <laughs> this is it. I know. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> You're right there, everyone. <laughs> Enjoying a bit of sink. No dawdling, Harry. <laughs> Hurry up, Harry. Every second counts. No dawdling, Harry. Down he goes. Go down to the dungeons and see if you can get into the common room. Dungeons? Alright, I'll see you in a bit, mate. <laughs> Hurry up, Harry. Every second counts. No dawdling, Harry. I'm off. <laughs> See you later, everyone. <laughs> no, Lord, Lynn, Harry. Harry, there's something up there. Well, that's that sinking feeling, I, yeah. I the adventure ends here. The adventure ends here, here boys. Run! Say, Say goodbye to your, your memories. Oblivious. I don't know why he sounds like he's got something over his mouth there. It's a bit Ron, weird. Are you okay? I'm here! Okay! Go some crew, Harry! Wait there with Lockhart. If I'm not back in an hour. Anyway, see you in a bit. Screenshot. Definitely need a clip of the sink opening and having a mental seizure. Also, I love the way that they. Intriguing. I love the way these two are just standing here. <laughs> it's just like, are you okay? Yeah, I'm absolutely fine. <laughs> Nothing wrong. He's been gagged. Yeah, pretty much. gonna go kill me Have to do it like this yeah he is a boss in the PS1 version that's correct it's actually really cool that Still doesn't make any sense why there are spiders in the Chamber of Secrets, considering they are, you know, more enemies than the Basilisk, so they shouldn't be here. But whatever, it's fine. Uh -oh. well, that's handy. <clears throat> <laughs> yes, welcome back, Hayden Knight. Why didn't that fall down? <laughs> yes, I am still playing. Correct. We're still going. Still going through the whole game. Here. And believe me, Hayden, you've missed some pretty crazy crap today. And I mean it. A lot of crazy crap has gone on. <laughs> Hell of a lot. Let me just put it this way, all of it is inside the Discord server. Every single bit 
No, right. Every single bit is in there. It's been one hell of a ride for HP2's 20th celebration. That's all I can say. He predicted it. There's no need to be sorry about it whatsoever. I totally understand that everyone has busy lives and so on. It's totally understandable. That's why the stream is around for uh, catch-ups afterwards. Bloody hell. So I never delete any of them. <laughs> you wonder what the boulder's going to look like. Good question. Good question. Good, I agree. One hundred percent agree. Scary stories. What scary stories are those, supposedly? I think, <laughs> I think the imps just killed themselves. They were so desperate to kill Harry that they ended up killing themselves. Right now, before we go through there, we need to revisit Gilderoy Lockhart. And oh my god, the floor is gone. We need to revisit Gilderoy Lockhart and Ron. There's got to be a disaster up here now. Well, I already see something that shouldn't be there. Oh boy. <laughs> All the things are going up and down. That's great. Oh, the crane's in here as well. <laughs> the crane. Well, there you go. You know what to do, uh, Has. You know exactly what to do. <laughs> oh, God. This stuff. Honestly. <laughs> Fat Harry. Oh, yeah, literally. You are correct. And welcome to the stream, by the way. Done it? Nice. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave you two to your... Uh, well, I don't even know what to classify this as. Broken thing? <laughs> oh, yeah. Better than dubstep. Well, that's not difficult. Right. <laughs> that's difficult, but yeah. Oh, well, I can see my path across is already screwed. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> I'm not going to be going anywhere anytime soon. Alright. Ah, screw. Who needs Richard Zemper when you can do this? Oh, 
Ready? I can't get across that, so I'm gonna do this. <laughs> So this fight is going to be this time. It wasn't too bad last time, actually. Um, well, at least I didn't die. I suppose that's always a benefit. <laughs> Could have been much worse. <laughs> it could have been much, much worse. <laughs> Oh, you spawned in just a bit too quick there, snail. No, the, the tools have gone. It's not a good sign. Yeah, to be honest, me killing you snails is probably a godsend for you lot. There it is, the way across, which would normally work if I actually had something to jump on. <laughs> it looked worrying. It did look worrying, didn't it? Everything looks worrying in this game. <laughs> Oh, there's no platforms. <laughs> How am I? Just gonna casually somehow do. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Then I won't die. <laughs> that would have been very awkward, otherwise. Oh. Uh, <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> this is interesting. I think we're just gonna do this. <laughs> there, there literally is nothing there. Wonder if Lumos platforms actually work. Nope, but they do not work. I can confirm they don't work. Okay, right. Well, that area is cursed. It's just completely destroyed. Uh. Oh god, is the boulder even going to appear? <laughs> That's the real question. Oh, it is there. All credit to it, it is there. No! Is it going to stay there is the real question. I think it might do. The Indiana Jones slash Crash Bandicoot moment might actually stay properly in the game. That's cool. Oh my god. The boulder actually is still here. The first object I think I've ever seen that is physically still here. I'm impressed by you, boulder. I am impressed, especially as you were also from Philosopher's Stone, I might add, but I am impressed. My god, an object that actually stays. <laughs> it's the fact that he actually shouts no and then the thing properly stays there. That really went down a bit faster than I was predicting it would. Fabulous. Fabulous work, Gary. Aren't you glad you learnt from the likes of me? You've now lost your boulder exercise. Yes, it has a Flipendo symbol on it because of Philosopher Stone. Because <laughs> in uh, the Hagrid's Hut level, you Flipendo those boulders around in order to get through caves. <laughs> That's why. 
Ah! The thing's vanished. Oh no, really? I'm going to have to use debug again. It's my only way across. <laughs> no, I don't have a choice. Okay. Time to uh, do that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. The Basilisk fight. Now, this is it, boys and girls. This is it. We're going to do what we uh, hopefully will be able to do. And it won't be broken. Could be broken though. Alright, here we go. I have no idea if this will actually work in the end or not. I'm hopeful. I am hopeful. <laughs> it might fail, but we'll do our best. I'm praying this is going to work. <laughs> it's not just going to break. Might as well do the glitch where you can get infinite amounts of these. Because why not? Well, you're crossing everything there, Has. Going full on, I see. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, my the instant thought is that the greats are going to just vanish and then the snake will get stuck or something. <laughs> but we'll see. Oh, I think I've got enough health now. Alright, let's do this. I'm ready to hopefully not have this bug out on me. Ah, right, here we go. <sighs> Wait. Ah. <laughs> well, at least I have a way out, I suppose. Let's go! Jenny! <laughs> well, a dramatic entrance. <laughs> Jenny! <laughs> Jenny, please, wake up! That was a great entrance. That's probably one of the greatest entrances yet. <laughs> she won't wake. Uh... Tom? Tom Riddle? She's still alive. But only just. <laughs> Little Ginny's been writing in my diary. He looks diary great. Months. She poured out her soul to me. It made me stronger until I had enough power to pour a little of my soul back into her. What do you what mean? What do you mean? Ginny Weasley opened her <laughs> like they were secrets, kissing. Just yeah. as I had long ago. Before, before I became, became Lord Voldemort. No! no. <laughs> the egg mayonnaise look. <laughs> oh, God. It is me, Harry. Ginny told me all about you. I'm afraid that your second year magic tricks will be worthless against the power of the greatest sorcerer in the world. The greatest mm. sorcerer in the world is Albus Dumbledore. Dumbledore is gone. Now I'm going to teach you a lesson. Let's match the powers of Tom Riddle, heir of Slytherin, against the <laughs> famous Harry Potter. Yeah, here we go, Phoenix time. <laughs> the thing disappeared instantly. That's a Phoenix. Fort! I'll still never forget Harry Forks. Oh, God, man. That's just going to haunt me to a my dying days. From <laughs> Dumbledore, no doubt afraid to come himself. Well, it won't save you, Harry Potter. But speak to me, Slytherin. The on the front of the, of the Hogwarts four. Ignore it. <laughs> it's, it's normal at this point. I expect it. <laughs> Just casually coming through the ceiling, great. As you do. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's fabulous. Uh. No! You can still smell the boy! You can still kill him! Kill him now! Yeah, you probably could smell the mayonnaise. It wouldn't be too difficult. Die! Oh my god, you're actually a solid object. I'm quite happy about this. Ow! What? Why? Oh, 
The bloody ceiling thing is in the way, so I, I can't hit the snake from one side at all. I have to hit it from over here. It's the only way I can hurt it. Otherwise, I can't hurt the damn snake. Because there's a stupid ceiling thing in the way. <laughs> oh, come on. Please die already. Thank you. Kill the boy. No, 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 no. What? Oh, yeah, how did you dodge that? Oh, ectoplasm everywhere. Oh. Good lord, there's ectoplasm literally flying everywhere at the speed. Jesus Christ. Chill. That speed is insanity. Just run. Run, Harry. Run. Oh my god. How are you supposed to avoid that? <laughs> that sheer speed. God, you can't avoid that. That is impossible to avoid. That is so fast. Wait, hit him. Oh, fine. Don't hit him then. Boom. Right in the face. Get another one. How did that... Actually, in some ways it's easier if he tries to eat me. A lot easier than trying to get away from the ectoplasm, like, rapid fire, double tap, shotgun. Which is just impossible to avoid. Nice try, buddy, but you're a failure. Ow! Out. <laughs> Hang on a minute, there's too much slime in the way. Harry's just going to become an alcoholic for a couple of seconds, don't mind him. <laughs> what? How did that not hit you? Oh, come on. That was so totally meant to hit you. Hate the way you have to charge the sword up so much before you can shoot. It's kind of annoying. Alcoholic time. Yeah, boy. <laughs> la, 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 la. Rapid fire. <laughs> Boom. Try and eat me. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> bit closer than I thought you were going to be there. And he's dead. <laughs> Fate. Also, the music is really good during the boss fight. God, someone's got to screenshot that beauty. Now, that is a beauty. <laughs> That's thumbnail worthy, that. I'll have to get that at some point for a future thumbnail, I think. <laughs> that is thumbnail worthy. I love the dramatic slow-mo walking fat Harry as well, still going pff, pff, <laughs> during it. <laughs> Harry, oh Harry, I wanted to tell you. It was me, Harry, but I swear I didn't mean to. Riddle made me do it. It's all right. Riddle's finished. Come on, Ginny. Let's get out of here. Come on, Ginny, let's earthquake out of here. <laughs> Hello, Harry. Professor Dumbledore, I thought you'd been suspended. Lucius Malfoy had threatened to curse the board if they didn't remove me, but they decided to stand up to him. Now that the heir is gone, 
and the basilisk is destroyed, they know Hagrid is innocent too. He'll be back in his hut soon. But what about Lucius Malfoy? Will he cause any more trouble? I doubt it. We can assume it was him who got the diary to Ginny. He daren't do it again unless he wants the Ministry of Magic out of A thousand him. potions, oh, bloody hell. It's a bit too I'm many. I'm afraid he's lost his memory. Oh dear. What will he think about now that he can't think about himself? I did the one he in the story. His job I to did that. Snape. He's <laughs> too, um, valuable as a potions teacher. You've all performed brilliantly. It must have been a terrible experience. It was. We spent much more time in a girl's bathroom than I would have liked. Being petrified was awful, but I learned a great deal from it. I'm going to write a paper about it for extra credit. When you've got I your thought she was going to sit there and be like, you can accomplish anything, yeah, petrifying was awesome. <laughs> well, I loved every second of it. Nothing. Looking like Goyle came My alive. entire hospital There's wing was completely destroyed. <laughs> Smoking and everything. For the first toast. To friendship. Fatness and, and destruction, but the destruction most of all. Most of all. <laughs> Literally. The rest of the final term passed in a haze of blazing sunshine. Hogwarts was back to normal <clears throat> with only a few small differences. Defense against the dark arts classes were cancelled, and Lucius Malfoy had been sacked as a school governor. Draco was no longer strutting around the school as though he owned the place. On the contrary, he looked resentful. <laughs> shaking, going on. On the other hand, Ginny um. Weasley was perfectly happy again. It's our last day at Hogwarts. Not normal student. Yeah. The only thing left to do is the House Cup ceremony in the Great Hall. If you have anything you want to do at Hogwarts, you'd better do it before you go to the House Cup ceremony. Believe it or not, I do. I do indeed have a couple of last minute bits. Very last minute. That being one of them. There we are. Yeah, one of the statues had gone. Don't ask. <laughs> I don't know why it disappeared. <clears throat> okay, so for everyone's information, if you want to be able to, when you play this game yourself, access this room without having to use debug mode, i.e. pressing delete and flying behind the door and then going into level, and you just want to do what I'm going to show you in a minute, which is walk up to that door and it just opens like normal, like any other door. Then down in the description of this stream, it should be there. If it's not there, I will put it there at the end of the stream. Is a link to my guide that I made a little bit ago. I think it was two or so years ago now. Which explains how you can actually make that door open like normal inside of the game. So you can go and do that for yourself. And uh, yeah, it means you don't have to use debug to go into it all the time. What I will say though is that you do need to know every single spell going into this challenge or else you won't be able to complete it so just bear that in mind but yeah if you want to learn how to do it legitimately yourselves without debug and it will work with any say by the way anytime you want to do it you just work then uh, yeah it's down in the description the guide on how to do it so you can walk up to the door like this you see and it will open like normal and there you go straight in so yeah, like I said, if you want to learn how to do that yourselves, proper guide for it is down in the description, and you can do that for yourself. We're going to, for the rest of the stream, do this bonus level that was cut from the main game, and we're also going to... Um, do the like the wizard card challenge as well and then after that that will be it oh. <laughs> interesting oh we're gonna play this game are we Yeah, if you watch Nixo's review, one of the devs actually explained why this level exists. So we finally actually have a proper answer to this. 
which is really nice that we finally have an answer as to why this level was in the game and also why it was cut. And it's not what you think. <laughs> Believe it or not, it is not what you think. I'll let you guys go and watch Nixo's review stuff. Uh, review? Not review. Um, Nixo's uh, interview stuff with the devs. It was in part two, the bit that regards this level. But yeah, go and watch it. And then you'll understand why this level was cut like it was. I also forgot to make it fat load early. Anyway, I've done that now. thinking <laughs> yeah this music is um, actually in the PS2 version of Chamber of Secrets it's in Diagon Alley and Jake and Juke or whatever it's called shop the joking shop basically what I wanted to do. Uh. I still think it's a shame that this level got cut, because it's actually a really good level. I like this level. This level is just an interesting level, it's also quite a challenging level which makes it, you know, more interesting in my opinion. I think it's a shame they cut it. It was a silly idea cutting this. Awesome level. And in the end, all I can say is that uh, at least we can access it to this very day. <laughs> Gamble and Japes. Uh, yeah, it's Japes in there, yeah. There you go. What John's Yeah, I still think it's a shame they cut this level. They shouldn't have cut it. It's pretty much almost finished anyway. <laughs> huh. Some beans from the rafters, I'm guessing. Harry's head just bouncing the door back open. As you do. Oh. <sighs> 
crazy to think that so many people still don't know about this level existing. It's weird. You would have thought that everyone would know about it by now. <laughs> but nope. <laughs> There's still people that don't know about this level existing. To this very day. <laughs> To be fair, none of us were ever meant to see this level, were we, let's be honest, but yeah, what's well, going to stop the gaming world, is it? Trying to look at this, you always find someone that will find a way. That's just a big giveaway. <laughs> Nice to open the door. <laughs> That's you two. Will be a fat mode. I don't think there was anything up there, was there? No. Okay, cool. Right, in that case, let's end the level. I'm not going to collect all these beans, we'll be here forever. I'll collect the ones I can. It's the problem with fat mode. Everything just falls down. And we're done. Awesome. Well, there you go. So that was the secret Gryffindor common room level. So what we are going to do now is finish it up by doing the final level. Which, of course, is the Silver Wizard card level. I'm not going to bother with all the bronze wizard cards today, I'm afraid. They don't matter to me. But we will do these. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. The last one. Thank you very much. to go all the way up again, especially not with the cards flying in the air. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Oh, man, the neck. Right. Surprisingly fairly reasonable, this level. 
There's always ways around doing stuff which works out quite well. The only annoying thing about fat mode is all the wizard cards keep flying up in the air. But otherwise, yeah, it's good. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> It literally won't work that unless you are actually behind the wall. That's interesting, that. That is interesting. Clever design. I'll give them credit. They really did try very hard with that one. That's very impressive. So that way we couldn't see uh, what it would look like when the floor just vanishes. <laughs> Just being able to fat jump everywhere. It's great. <laughs> Makes the level so much easier. Ready? Now, oh, right, fine. Come here. even though I've shown you these god knows how many times before but I will show you it anyway in case there are new people that watch this and would like to see these and no I'm afraid these do not go into fat mode because <laughs> they're not designed like that <laughs> but still you get to see what these look like and they are pretty damn awesome I will say that these are really cool and I kind of wish that they had done this with every single one of the cards in this game it would have been amazing if we could have seen this kind of room for every wizard card. It would have been like the most awesome epic reward room to see some kind of animation for all of these different cards that we get throughout the game. But I get how much work that would have been, but still, it would have been really awesome to see that. Definitely would have been all for it. Which house would I be put in? Don't know. I guess you could say I'd probably go to Gryffindor for my nice point of view, but I'd probably go to Slytherin for my brutalness sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. It's a good question. I really don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure of the answer. Right. Tell you what, it's there we are. There, it's quite a nice way of uh, showing it off. <laughs> right, I'm not going to do all the Quidditch and the dueling because, quite frankly, they're all the same and they're not very interesting. And you've already seen a Quidditch and a dueling thing in the story anyway. 
the only thing we could have done is the actual Malfoy Quidditch, but we have to do all the other Quidditch to do that, so I can't be bothered. But, yeah, I have my limits sometimes to what I can be bothered to do, and considering I've literally streamed the entire game for you lot, I think that's pretty good going. <laughs> I wasn't planning on it, but there we go, we've done the whole game. I uh, feel, uh, feel pretty proud to actually get through the whole thing. <laughs> but, anyway, I'm glad we did this. I definitely wanted to celebrate, you know, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets turning 20. I mean, it's a huge deal, the fact that this game is now 20 years old, it's making me feel old, but still, it's a big deal, it's a great game, it's a game that's, you know, something that I will always hold very dear to my heart, it's something that a lot of people have many fun memories of, so, yeah. You know, it's great to come back to it, and it was nice to come back to it in a slightly different way from just playing it like normal, as we got fat mode again. So yeah, you got something uh, a little bit different, I guess. So, why not? And it was fun and funny and stupid along the whole way, so... <laughs> it made it entertaining. But anyway, I wanted to say thank you to No Wonder, the creators all at that company. You know, who created these awesome first three Harry Potter games on PC. You really did an awesome job, and of course, thank you for creating the best one out of the bunch, Chamber of Secrets. And I hope that you are all proud of what you created here with this game, as well as the other two. And yeah, know that a lot of people out there still play and love your games to this very day, and will continue to do so for a very long time going forward. I promise you that if there are any Harry Potter games out there that are extremely well remembered, it is the PC releases right here. This game in particular is extremely well remembered and very fondly remembered out of the bunch. So yeah, know that you guys have done very well and know that everyone respects everything that you've done for creating these projects. And yeah, there you go. Um, so yes, happy birthday Chamber of Secrets and... Happy birthday while playing in fat mode. <laughs> Something different. <laughs> oh man. This game is older than some of our Discord members. Yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> I'm sure it definitely is. But there we go. Anyway. I wanted to quickly add at the end here a couple of other bits that are just outside of the stream realm of what we're doing here um, that are relating to other stuff that I'm doing stream wise and also relating to Phil. So I want to talk about Phil's thing first of all because I think like I said earlier it's important to talk about it and I wanted to mention it at the end as well as when I mentioned it earlier. So Phil a glimmer Everyone at this point should know him, and if you don't, then, well, I'm amazed. But yes, anyhow, Phil is doing a live stream on Saturday where he's going to play through the whole of this game. But, of course, he's playing it normally, not in fact mode like me. And he's doing a charity live stream while he plays it as well, which is basically going to be supporting people in London who are homeless and, you know, are having trouble with the cost of living crisis. So all the funds that anyone donates while in his live stream will be going to a very worthy cause to try and help all those people in London who are suffering, who have either had to leave their apartments, homes, whatever it may be, because of the cost of living crisis and have nowhere to go, or people that were already suffering in the first place with this issue. So any funds that anyone does donate whatsoever will go to that cause and will go and help to help all those people that are struggling and having a really difficult time during this extremely difficult time period at the moment which is affecting loads of different people out there. Um, so honestly it will be really incredible to be in that stream and support in any way whatsoever. And in the end, like I said earlier, if you don't have the money to spare for charity and things, that's absolutely fine. I mean, you know, I understand everyone has their limits of money and so on, and no one can force you to do anything whatsoever. That's entirely up to you. And yes, I respect that. You know, everyone is having a tough time with money, so I can understand that. But 
even if you can't donate, don't feel bad about it. Just you being in the live stream alone is also extremely helpful. And, you know, it, it will always do good to do anything like that anyway. So I encourage everyone to go and be a part of Phil's live stream on the Saturday. Even if you can't stay for the whole thing, even if you can't donate, whatever it may be, go and be a part of it. Go and wish him well, go and wish the charity well and just be supportive, you know, <laughs> just be supportive. So yes, I encourage everyone on the Saturday to go and do that. But at the same time, I also have to talk about what I'm going to be doing on Saturday now. Um, I think we're doing it at different times, by the way, <laughs> just so you're aware. Um, while Phil was doing his one for charity, and this is very important, of course, I want everyone to definitely go and check that out and do what they can. My live stream on Saturday is a very, very serious, important topic, which is something that I never thought I would ever be doing as a live stream on my channel ever in my life. It's kind of incredible to me that I am actually doing a live stream about this, but it has to be done and it quite frankly is a topic that is extremely serious that not enough people are aware of and just the risk factor involved with this problem and situation it really is a serious situation that is putting so many people in serious danger so as a result i do have to talk about it and a live stream format is the way i wanted to do it for my channel Simply because when people come and are involved in that live stream, yes, I will explain everything that's going on and all the problems, etc. But it means that people that need to ask questions about the situation or just in general want to get a bit more information and just understand certain things better, it's a good chance for you to then do that because I can actually answer your questions in a live format. You know, I could give you proper answers to all your questions. So, yes, I have been spreading this around. You might have noticed a lot lately. It's been a pretty big deal, what I've been doing. Which is the fact that the Call of Duty games on PC, quite a lot of them, the old ones in particular here, are insanely dangerous for you to be playing and actually can compromise your entire system as well as your life. That is how serious they are now to play. So really, in the end, what I'm trying to do here with this live stream is explain what exploits are in these games, what these hackers can do to you if they manage to exploit you, and just how serious that could affect your life. This is not a you know simple crash your game mod problem anymore this is far beyond that this is to the point where someone can control your machine they could also take any details they want from you if you are logged into amazon for example on your system they could open that up they've got your entire address right there if they wanted to and you also had your card for example on amazon they could look at that they've got access to your entire bank that is how serious this exploit is it is dangerous <laughs> very very dangerous so yes it needs to be explained it needs to be out there because not enough people know about this not enough people realize that by playing the Call of Duty games on Steam, a lot of these older ones, you are putting yourself at serious risk. And I don't blame people for, you know, wanting to play the games. <laughs> they just want to play a game that they bought. You know, they own the product now. They want to have a bit of fun, enjoy it, and that's that. But they have no idea what they're jumping into. And quite frankly, I can't allow in good conscience to let any of my viewers, let alone anyone else out there, just dive deep into something that really could actually seriously affect their lives. It's just not okay. I will not accept that. So this live stream on Saturday will actually be the most important live stream and the most important piece of content I will ever have done on my channel ever. And I really mean that. This is something that I never thought I would ever make, quite frankly. I didn't think I would ever have to make something like this, but here we are. So yes, 
I strongly encourage people that play the Call of Duty games on PC to attend that live stream on the Saturday. I strongly encourage it because if you don't and you end up playing those games and something goes wrong for you or something very serious happens to you, that is your responsibility. I am giving you the tools and the know about on how to make sure that you don't get compromised and that you don't have your machine taken over, destroyed, whatever it may be. I'm trying to help everyone here. Remember that. I'm trying to make sure that everyone is safe. That is important to me just as much as it should be important to you. So this is an important live stream and it means that there will be no actual game being streamed on the Saturday. Yes, there'll be games over like the COD games in the background so you've got something to watch but it's going to be a talking live stream on the Saturday and effectively almost like a Q&A as well. Um, I will also be breaking it down and going through each individual COD game and which one has which exploit and how serious each one is so you have an idea and I will also be explaining how you can effectively still play some of those games on PC in a safer way. It doesn't mean that you're going to be 100% secure, not by any means, but you are a lot more secure than you are playing them through Steam normally. I am also strongly encouraging everyone right now, really heavily encouraging people to get on the Steam store pages for these games, in particular Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3, and reporting the games. They need to be reported and it needs to be explained that there is a remote code exploit inside of these games that really is dangerous and allows people to take control of the PCs, see personal information, destroy a person's life, and you're selling it on your storefront, basically Valve. This needs to be shown to Valve. This needs to be pushed at them because Valve should act and take the games off the storefront. They cannot be allowed to remain on that storefront. They should not be there. They are that dangerous now. So yes, it's important and like I said you know I will explain everything in that live stream that includes how you can report those games on the storefront page so I will go through exactly how you can do that where you can find it everything but honestly even at this point if you don't play Call of Duty on PC I would still encourage you to at least tell people that you know do play them on PC to attend that live stream on the Saturday and to make sure that they are listening. Likewise, I would honestly say it would be nice if you got a chance to actually report the games as well on Steam. In the end, it's in the best benefits of everyone here to report those games on the Steam store pages, so that way Valve removes them and then it forces Activision's hand to go and fix them. And if they don't fix them and they just freaking well take them off the storefront and that's the end of it, then that really shows how crappy they are as a company. And that will reflect badly on them. And I don't think they need any more of that. They've had a ton of it this year, so I don't think they'll want more. But I do encourage it. So please do attend that live stream on the Saturday. And like I said, if you know people that play the Call of Duty games on PC, tell them to come and be a part of that live stream on the Saturday as well. I will also be talking with Creative on that live stream. He will actually be present in the live stream with me because we will be talking about the issues between ourselves a little bit as well. So it's important. Just remember that this is an important live stream. This will be the most important thing that I will ever probably do on the channel. So just understand that. Anyway, getting that out of the way. Yeah, otherwise content wise, I do have to say that videos are probably going to be a bit slower soon. I will probably explain this more in depth at some point later on, but just be prepared for videos to stop soon. You'll be getting things of course like the Deathly Hallows Part 1 videos etc. They're coming, but just bear in mind that soon you're just going to have some live streams probably once or twice a week. And the videos are going to slow right down. They might even stop for a little bit. There are reasons behind this. But 
just bear that in mind the daily upload is not going to continue forever but I will explain it more later on down the line now either way I appreciate everybody that came out to today's stream it was awesome to stream this game today it was awesome to see everyone that came by and actually was a part of it today and truly awesome actually for me to see you know how many people still give a damn about this game a lot of people do and it's encouraging to see it. I know that the devs who make this game that have come out and, you know, had a chat with the community are truly heartfelt at the fact that, you know, people still play their game and they love it. So, yeah. Thank you, everyone. Either way, I'm going to probably head off and uh, go to sleep. <laughs> Either way, yeah, thank you, everyone. And I will see you all on the Saturday at 8 p.m. GMT time for a very important subjects. So, with that being said, have an awesome time for the rest of your evening or day, wherever you are. And, uh, yeah. I will see you all when I see you all very soon. See you in a bit.